Our Settlers 2 journey is now well underway and I sense we are drawing closer to finding our way home. We've walked through the portal from an island called the Snake and now we've emerged in a dangerous situation. Our enemies are on the move and are tightening their grip on the land we reside. Could we stand our ground or must we retreat across the waters? Mastery of sea routes is crucial to our survival here, which is worrying as things don't always work out as planned when it comes to our ships. Today, we'll be testing our metal in our toughest mission yet. Not just because of the overwhelming enemies, but also the frustrating map design and oh come on, what's with all these bugs? It's okay, it's okay. I'll stay calm, I'll stay calm. Scouts have told me of a mighty enemy in the west. We must try and stay here as long as possible. In an emergency, we can always escape to the east or by sea. Welcome back to the Settlers 2 Mission 8. And this is our second attempt at this because we went an hour before. We went an hour on this mission. And uh, like with most Settlers 2 missions, you need future knowledge to make the correct decisions because you don't know what the map looks like, you don't know where the enemy is, you don't know where the portal is. And I still don't know where the portal is, but I know which direction not to go. <laughs> like that, it, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. We went the wrong direction and uh, it, it, it was just weird. Okay, let us slow the game down. Uh, what I'm gonna do First is, I'm just going to throw down, yeah, I'm going to throw down a fortress, and I'm going to throw down a fortress. Uh, we are going to also set up a forestry industry right here. So let me, oh, before I do that, I also do need to keep expanding this way. So I'll throw down, um, no, I should throw down something a bit stronger here as well. Uh, in case they try and snipe me, I'll just throw down a watchtower there. And then I will do uh, woodcutter, woodcutter, forester, woodcutter, woodcutter, forester. And then we'll have a sawmill. Uh, let, let's get these set up. Uh, I should probably, yeah, no, let's, let's do sawmills back here. Uh, sawmill, 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 sawmill. 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 So that's our source of wood. And then we'll want to get quarry. And fishery. And then we want to make sure we have our roads sort of going out in various directions. And then we can connect things up through here. Connect, 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 connect. Now that doesn't work. Dig up, dig up. Connect, connect, kind of, flag, that way, and then we connect here, and we connect here, okay, fortress, fortress, scout, 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 reveal some of the map, C, S, V, L, and bring up general statistics on military because we want to see how outnumbered we are. Okay. <laughs> Here's a new start. I'm going all in on wood and fortresses right from the start. Um, we do also start with some stuff here I will need. Uh, I want to straight away get a mint going down as well uh, so that we can start convert our starting 
gold into gold coins. So we're going to get that going. Uh, these two fortresses are going to be super important. I might have one more fortress down this way. Otherwise, we're following the instructions, which are actually kind of relatively correct this time, where we need to run eastwards. This is the furthest west we're going to go for now. We need to run eastwards. Now, we start with 40 planks, around 40 stone. Um, we should be getting all of this going quite nicely. Two sawmills should keep us going. Did I connect that fishery in the quarry? I think I didn't. Oh, so... Let's connect that fishery. Can this connect up to there? It can. And then this quarry... Can it go down this way? It can. Nice. Okay, so things are a little convoluted, uh, but uh, should be fine. These fortresses will get us our initial mountain regions. But we don't want to build anything else beyond these fortresses. I'm building a watchtower here because I'm worried the enemy will snipe us. Because the enemy is coming. They're on the way. Um, and we, we have to stop them. We have to stop them. We, we basically have to survive until we get everything we need. Um, which is not here. We need to go elsewhere to get what we need. Uh, once the fortresses are down, I will throw down catapults as well, because if they try to build up to our borders, well, we'll stop them. We also don't want to clear this stuff, because this stuff is, is like, blocking their advance. Like, they can't build up here unless they harvest these resources. So we want to make sure they don't. Like, if I build a fortress down here and just claim some of these stones, they'll never be able to build through it. Right? They could attack the fortress, but it's a fortress, so that's nine soldiers. So that should be good to go. Uh, speaking of which, military, we want to have this maxed out. Um, this is weak defense, strong defense. So we want strong defense, but fewer defenders and more attackers. I, I just like how that controls a little bit better. Okay, so source of wood set up. Um, actually, I might want even more. Uh, Forester, so I could actually have another woodcutter, another forester. So three foresters, six woodcutters. Yeah, let's do that. Woodcutter, woodcutter, forester. Pro tip, someone told me one time, actually useful. The forester building, once it's built, you can actually burn the road because it operates without any road construction thing. Okay, the mint is down. So we can actually, we have uh, 15 gold, 30 coal. So we can actually just mint all the, the gold right away. Train up these fortress buildings, I think. Um, I think I will not... I'll allow higher level units to go into the watchtower, but I won't allow gold coins into it. Yeah, yeah, I think I won't allow gold coins into it. The ratio is two foresters for five woodcutters. Really? That many woodcutters? So I can actually support... So I have three foresters, two... Okay, this this is math. Two foresters is five woodcutters, so three foresters is seven cutters, or 7.5. So we currently have one, six, so I should actually build one more woodcutter? Another woodcutter. Uh, bit weird, but okay. It'd make more sense if I did that. Okay. Okay. Three foresters, seven cutters, and there's a slight surplus. So I won't let gold coins go into this watchtower. But yeah. Uh, after this watchtower, we can build barracks and stuff. It should be fine. Um, let's do... Let's just do barracks. So... Barracks don't need stone, right? We're just expanding. Uh, we can throw down... Quarry. Okay, so this is... 
So with this many woodcutters, how many sawmills can we support? Two or three? Two for sure. Maybe three. I don't know. Once this fortress is down, I will just try and fit another fortress down there. Three no problem. Okay. So we can actually support another sawmill right there. Nice, compact wood industry right around our headquarters. Great. So as long as these fortresses hold the western side, all the barracks to the east should never be in range, hopefully. I, I don't know how the range of attack... We can see them immediately. Look at that. That's actually... Maybe faster than last time. Or maybe my scouts just went further than before? Like... Scouts actually went pretty far. They don't usually go that far. <laughs> but the enemy's right there, you see? Right there. It's it's like the fin of a shark. Right? Just, just swimming under the surface of the fog of war. This fortress is down. Perfect. Gold coins can go in. Have at it. Uh, I got one upgraded soldier in this watchtower. But let's get... Okay, good. Now, in front of the fortress, I will just throw down... ...some catapults. To get those going. And then... I'm just gonna... How many geologists do we have? Four? Okay. This fortress... Is that the furthest we... No, no, no. I thought that's, that's how far the fortress went. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Okay. Uh, I'll let that fortress get occupied. This barracks is done. Oh. Pull down flag. Gold coin, go the other way. Saved it. Uh, barracks. Keep that going. Uh, then I want to build another fortress right here. Okay, yeah, two catapults there, then I'll throw some catapults here. Uh, put a flag here. How many geologists did I send there? Three, so I got one more. Let's throw a scout. Throw a scout. Throw a scout. Throw a scout. Okay, continuing to expand. Uh, the foresters, woodcutters seem to be going okay. Do I not have any more woodcutters? Oh, I actually don't have seven woodcutters, I think. Where's the... Yeah, yeah. I actually don't have seven woodcutters. Well, someday I'll get a woodcutter in there. can then just continue fishing as we go along here. Fishery. So this fortress, yeah, that fortress will be good. Uh, all that coal will be coming down. So I forgot I actually want to do this to fill the fortresses so we can start training them. Wait, a scout can go through here. Something wasn't working before. I was putting a flag here and sending scouts to here and they refused to scout the enemy. The scout can walk right through.
Okay, sometimes this game just doesn't work. Like, also, these alliance squares <laughs> over here, it doesn't update. You have to close the window and reopen it if you want it to actually display correctly. <laughs> it's, it just, it's just wrong. Okay, pull down flag. So we've got coal. Trying to be efficient with the coal mine placements. Here. Okay. We tend to need a lot of coals. So let's just hook up four coal mines. And down here is going to be iron mine. Iron mine. Oh, something activated here. Okay. Any gold coin heading towards this barracks? No. Okay, keep going. Put the barracks. Uh, and we can... So these stones will clear out. So I can actually have a farm there. And then a farm here. So we'll get two farms going down. So that I can actually set up a brewery right here. And we'll throw a well right there for the brewery. Okay, so coal mine's coming down. I'd want to throw an iron mine there. So we can just hook up all these mines. Get that going. So we've got a couple generals. Eh, not a lot. A few more gold coins will come through, but not a huge amount. Only fortresses here. Only fortresses. Fortresses and catapults. We got two catapults ready to go. I'm producing, I think three sawmills is the correct amount. When will I challenge the opposing ruler to a round of caravan? <laughs> hey, yellow, want to play some caravan? <laughs> oh, all the stones being sent to the farms that makes sense that's fine okay uh, we still have stone we need more wooden planks this fortress is coming down maybe i want a fourth fortress i don't know yet maybe yes maybe no i am undecided i think i do have I have five pickaxes so i'm currently building one two three four five six seven mines so that's actually not Correct. Wait, I have five pickaxes, but how many miners? Oh, I have five miners. So actually, I have ten potential miners. Okay, that, that's fine. The fortress looks like it's coming down. The sparks is done. No gold coins. Okay. Sometimes it sends a gold coin before a soldier gets there. You gotta be careful. Gotta keep an eye. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, just continue down this way. Barracks. Uh, let's dig up that road and have the road go around this side. Okay, I'd want the storehouse somewhere around there, uh, but I also can put a farm right here. Third farm. Nice three farms in a line there. Good. Planks looking good. Sawmills running at high capacity. 
I think we might actually be able to support a fourth sawmill, but do we even have another... It'd be a carpenter, right? Oh, also... I guess no point letting those go. Actually... Let's take out these... Actually, no. Just gonna have like 10 privates. In case they try snipe the headquarters, I forgot they can do that. This fortress is now unoccupied. Okay, I see some gold coins coming in. Nice. Uh, one general coming into this fortress. Good. Okay, also using barracks because it only takes two soldiers. Did that brewery... Oh, the brewery's coming down now. Okay. Got another one here. So... I think I do want to build a fourth fortress right here, but also a catapult there and a catapult here. So we got two catapults. This feels more secure. Fortress, 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 catapult, 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 catapult. Right, the farms are coming down. Which means we will need the mills and stuff soon. Uh, this road, I think, should loop around here. So I can pull down that flag, leave more room for farms and stuff. But I can have a mill right here. Then we need... Yeah, once these stones clear out, I can start having things. Okay, the brewery is down. Nice. Uh, I can... There's a well there. I can then just have a well here. Sure. Is that... Yeah, that... Let's dig up that road. Into that road. Okay, sure. The mines are mining. We need to get smelters and armories down to get more soldiers. Uh, um... <laughs> running out of space to do things. Uh, I think I can just... Excuse me. I think I can just, um, maybe burn this woodcutter, pull down this flag, we don't get, we need more space. I think once these stones clear out a bit, and I could build things here, but it's a little risky. I guess it's fine. If any of these fortresses fall, we're kind of screwed anyway. So let's do... Iron Smelter. Armory. Armory. Iron Smelter. Okay, so that's the weapons production. Looking at this, yeah, we got iron, we got coal. We've smelted all of our gold. And we're actually out of soldiers. So this is a problem because we can't expand anymore. We need to train more soldiers to keep going. And this fortress isn't even down yet. We're actually out of soldiers. Thing is, if I empty them out now... Can I kill a barracks? Not really. Like, if I get rid of this barracks, I think we might lose that farm, which would be bad. I might be able to get rid of that barracks, but I might lose some... 
You know what? Let's just save the game. Right that. If I burn this barracks. Okay, that works. Let's see if we can hopefully one of the soldiers will go to this barracks, the unoccupied barracks, and not the fortress with six soldiers. Because that's not what we want. Are these catapults ready to fire? Yes, catapults are stocked up. Let's just throw some scouts out that way. We'll throw scouts around here. Three farms. Okay. Resources, stone, and boards looking good. So yeah, we just need... I can temporarily disconnect military buildings from the road network to prevent soldiers' coins going there. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I could micro that, but I'm hoping there's a little bit of faith in the system that a soldier does go to the unoccupied building first. <laughs> Just a little bit of maybe unearned faith in the Settlers 2 systems. <laughs> Undeserved faith. Yeah, so th there's a few more resources along these mountains, but it's not worth chasing. It just puts you... You basically... It's like checkers. This game is actually a lot like checkers. You putting stuff up that way, it's just gonna... Uh, give space for the enemy to come at you. Okay. I would want a storehouse here, but I built a farm instead. Put a star house here eventually, I guess. Uh, is the brewery working? Yes. Uh, the mill will start taking off as well. Are the armories and stuff running? Armories, iron smelter, iron smelter. Okay, those are just starting to run now. So we can start producing new soldiers now. The catapults. Coming online. So our defensive line is set up. Basically. This fortress is going to be a bit vulnerable until we... Um, manage to train a bunch more soldiers. can put a fishery there. Okay, the farms are looking good. This will clear off soon as well. I will want to expand a little bit this way. So barracks will go this way. But I don't want to build, like, military structures here, because then those are easily sniped by the enemy. Right? You can just run right by the fortresses. Okay, the mines all seem to be running. The mint should be basically dead. Um, so we don't need the mint anymore, right? Because there's, there's no gold. There's no other gold. I could burn the mint, I'd lose this coal, but I think, yeah, just clear it off. Make room for other stuff. Sawmills all running great. There's actually a slight surplus of wood. I have four coal mines. Okay. 
Do we have... How much beer do we have in stock? Ten? Okay, so soldiers should be coming through. This fortress is actually built. Oh, wait, no, it's not. So any new soldiers coming through? Yes. Yes, I think we I think we trained a soldier maybe. Yes, yes, we trained a soldier. First soldier trained. This barracks will now be occupied. So we can get over here. There's more stone. There's a mountain. And where we can actually build a harbor is there, which reminds me, I'm supposed to build a ship, but there's not really any good spot because we need to build a shipyard. I think once this barracks is done, we'll we'll have a bit of room to work on. We can build a shipyard there. That should work out. Okay, um, from here, yep, just keep with the barracks going. Wait, hold on, dig up road, pull down plank, uh, no, okay. Build road. Okay, another barracks, another barracks. That fortress is done, these catapults fully loaded. We can't be closer to the front. Like, maybe it would have made more sense to have the fortress there, like a bit further back, but I don't think it would make or break this game. Uh, beer supply seems good. Weapons, armor, beer. Okay, trained another soldier. Great. That should be heading towards the... F no? Heading towards the backs, it turned right. So it prioritizes the barracks over the fortress, I think. I'm I'm unsure how the priority works, but okay. Ah, just Looking at the military graph here, just using up the gold we started with actually got us up to the military strength of our enemies at the start. Now yellow is just exploding, right? It's a bit scary. Uh, they're not up to here yet, but um, hopefully we do get fully fortified before they get there. They might be able to, like, burn an iron mine or something if they push really up, but hopefully they can't just conquer any of this. Or is it because I'm... Oh, I have all these reserves, right? I should empty out the reserves. To... Fully stock all of these things. Okay, we expanded here. So I want to have a... Storehouse here. I do want to expand down to there, but I don't know if it's safe to do it. Let's get this fortress filled out first. I think it might be safe to have a barracks there. Because I need to get this coast. Two? A whole bunch of soldiers came to fill out these barracks, right? That's annoying. Fortress severely needs reinforcements. We're using up our stuff, so that's fine. We've got coal, we've got iron. The armories are going. 
They're producing weapons. See, there's a sword right there. Brewery. Where does all of our grain go? Um, I guess I can have another farm here. A little close to the woods, but should be okay. Unless I put... Actually, it'd make more sense if I do that. I just put farms here. Might be a little risky to be relying on this side, but... This also allows me to build a shipyard to start producing a ship right here. Okay, this barracks is unoccupied. See a soldier coming down, good. Four soldiers in this fortress, good. Okay, we are at least stronger than Red, who is not expanding. So, my assumption is that Red is where the portal is. Because they seem static, they're just the guardians of the portal. Yellow is who we have to carve through to get to the portal. To get to Red, rather. Oh, they're expanding right up to here. It is actually attackable. Which means they can attack us. So, they're now... Yeah, so all of these now have a strike through. So what I can do is now I can go to military and go to interior and empty that out. That should return a bunch of soldiers and move them to the front lines. Oh, this expanded, good. Let's go barracks. And let's go barracks. We should get our fortress built up. Okay, so we have a storehouse there, and then I'd want a storehouse here. Just scout that out as well. Okay, good. All right. They're making their way up. Harbor is also a storehouse. Yes, thank you for the reminder. I haven't built a bakery. <laughs> which is... Um, we have 27 flour. We, we do need... I can fit one there. Fishery there. Okay. We got stone, we got, we got plenty of blanks. Oh, this actually connected. Nice. So I don't know if I can build across there, but I really don't want to build military buildings any further west than this. Right? I want this to be unsnipable. They have to attack the fortresses. Okay, this is fully stocked up. Are those some oh those are some trained soldiers? That's good to see. Oh, the scout's actually looking through. Nice. I didn't realize that farm was, like, so close to that. I'm not sure if that will work properly, but sure. So our fortresses are now fully fortified. It'd be nice if we got a source of gold. Couple generals there. Quite a lot of generals there. This fortress is safe. That's good to see. These are less safe, but should be fine. Question mark. Okay. 
And we're getting more grain coming in. Those two farms will come through. Storehouse, storehouse, backpacks. Okay. We have eight privates. Let's get this up to ten. So we've got ten privates just reserved in the headquarters so we can't be sniped. That would be terrible. Okay. So, apparently this is what it looks like where you can build a harbor. You can't tell until you actually take control of the land. Or take control of the coast, but... Uh, apparently that's how that looks. <laughs> There's like a little graphics change. So that's where we're going to. I'll be able to build a ship from here. Yeah, these coal mines are just short on food, I think. So the headquarters is... yeah. So in terms of numbers of soldiers, we're fine. I see a soldier coming. There should be another one. Yeah, there's another one on the way. Source of stone, nice. Let's just throw a quarry here. Get a bit more stone. Not close enough. <laughs> okay. Um, let's not build right up to it. Let's put a barracks there. Then from here... Hmm. Let's go barracks. Barracks. Okay. The shipyard, I will be building a ship. Okay. Privates are stocking up. Our borders now touch. I think that's considered touching. They could attack us at any minute. Okay, so now we gotta focus on getting everything to the right. Ship is being constructed, look at that. Fishery down there, I guess. Let's keep the fishing going. These farms, yeah, all high percentages, good. These farms, not so high percentages. I think I built. Uh, maybe they'll pick up. Who knows? Put another mill and bakery like this to increase food production for the mines. Yes, build the ship. Good. Okay. I think this is what we're supposed to do. Thing is, you can. What is that? Is that a storehouse? 
Yeah, well, water's going in. Wait, that was water going in? Is that a storehouse? I still don't recognize enemy structures. Oh, that's a brewery. Oh, okay, they're training soldiers. I see. Red's starting to gain some soldiers as well. They're not stagnant. Okay. I assume yellow has gold to be able to be doing this. Because that kind of trajectory matches my trajectory when I had gold. Does it say here? <laughs> right. Um, hmm. That's a lot of gold. Uh, so yellow started on gold. Which is... Not good. Not good. So that storehouse is down, that storehouse is down. Okay, just let storehouses hold everything. These barracks are going down. Good. Let's throw a scout there. Yeah, we get up to here and then I think I'll be able to build a road across. Yeah, the catapults can't be any further forward. I don't think they would build up to my catapults, but just in case they do, I guess. Four soldiers in the headquarters. Okay. Yeah, beer's holding up, so we don't need another brewery. Oh, I never built a donkey farm. I should. Donkey breeder. Let's get that going. Which I think needs water as well. So let's throw a well here. Okay, no gold coin there. No gold coin there. No gold coin there. Okay, so we can actually build a thing here. Harbor building. We're building a harbor. The ship seems half complete. Okay. Uh -huh. We're getting up to here, so I think I'll just get things marked out. Geologist, 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 geologist. Okay. These farms, this one's pretty low percentage. I'm not sure why. It's got enough tiles. We expand it to here, so I want to throw down a quarry here, just to keep stone going. So weapons productions can be shifted to here eventually. I don't know if we've been attacked at all. might have been more prudent to not to build the mint until the four fortresses were down so the gold coins would be more evenly distributed. I should make a save. Yeah, let's replace that. Okay. Because I think this is where things start to kick off. Yellow is slowing on their military ascent. 
It was a slight slowdown. Is that a watchtower there? That might be it. I wish it was in range, though. I think it's not... It's hard to judge the range of these things, but I think it's not in range. I'll need to build some boats as well. Because we need boats to, to cross these water crossings. Uh, I'm just stressed that they're going to attack us and kill us or something. Because if they show up with a bunch of generals and attack this bottom fortress, we could lose. Oh, that wasn't a watchtower. That was a windmill. Is this... That's not a military building, is it? No, I don't think they're building military buildings up to... Oh, they built that one. Is that in range of the catapults? Mm. Hard to tell. I hope that's in range. So none of these are military buildings. Okay, so they didn't build up to the edge. Okay, harbor building going down. Ship has a mast. Fisheries all doing their things. Mines running better with a second bakery and more fisheries. I don't think it's in range. Wait, it is in range. A stone has been flung. Yes! Whittle them away. Bam. We might actually just destroy the building. Which is actually not a good thing. But... Uh, pushing them further back is not such a bad thing either. <laughs> Stay back. Okay. So this feels much more secure. Like, just pushing them back a little bit means fewer soldiers can attack. I can't even see what's here. If I put a flag here. No, there's no... there's no path through. Like, I can attack that with 23 soldiers, but it'll, like, just empty out our fortresses, which would be a bad idea. Okay, so... Let's mark out some mines. So we've got... Iron mine. Iron mine. Iron mine. Mine. Okay. And then this is also iron mine. Then we have coal mine. Coal mine. Coal mine. And then we actually have to investigate that separately. Okay. So that's quite a lot of mines. Oh, the Neptune is done? Great. Let's build some boats. We have the Neptune. Ship is ready. Harbor is being built. Will they just keep reconstructing here? Look at that, they actually took a dip. Okay, looks 
go there. Yeah, that quarry will continue from there. Might be quicker if I build a shortcut here. Harbor building. Almost done, I think. Is that barracks? I don't know what that is. That's a guardhouse. I don't know if that's a barracks. Ah, Neptune's on the way. That means the harbor's down. Start expedition. Okay, it's gonna gather up resources. Bunch of stuff will start being dumped out of here. Can I have another road going out there? Yes. Have another road. There we go. We've got our spider road going. And that just helps things get out. There's no way to connect these roads, right? No. Trees. Okay, we're slowly getting more donkeys, so that's good. Oh, they didn't build a military building there. So they might rebuild that structure, but... Maybe not. Maybe they'll just stay right there. Okay, stocking up, stocking up. Uh, let's send a couple geologists there. This fishery is done. Burn. This fishery is done. Burn. Maybe can do a fishery here. A bit far from the coast, but maybe it's okay. What do these buttons do again? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, statistics. To target harbor. Oh, okay. The fact that the tooltips are on a, like, a separate window like that. It's <laughs> okay, have we constructed a few boats? Yeah, some boats are coming through. We've got a bunch of boats. Okay. Let's build another ship. Okay, it seems like yellow does not want to push forward. They don't want to attack these fortresses. It's fine by me. It's not ready to go yet. Now this is all coal. Okay. These mines are still operational. All pretty high percentages as well, which is good to see. It should mean we have a good stock of soldiers now. There's six privates. If I get a source of gold and turn all these fortresses into generals, we can just steamroll forward. <laughs> right? Because we have 9, 18, 27, 36. If I get 36 generals here, I will just blitzkrieg over the entire enemy.
Might be nice to stop collecting planks and stone in the HQ. Do we not ever need planks and stone here? I guess that makes sense. Oh, this quarry's done. Burn. Right? Because... We don't really need... A lot of stone and planks here. We are generating all the planks and stuff here, but it has to be sent up this way, I guess. These farms, 100%. Good. These farms, 80-90%. Uh, that's good. I could probably, if I shift this road to this side and I pull down that road, I might be able to fit another field so this farm picks up a bit. Is this ready to go? Yes. Okay. Let's head down left. See where you're going. Okay. <sighs> Took us an hour, but we got a ship running. Now we can start seeing what's where. Now, as long as these are actually islands and not somehow weirdly like, oh, here's an island, uh, but actually it's like connected around to the mainland like that, which causes ships to bug out. As long as it's not like that, we should be fine. Okay, I can throw down another fishery here. Around this side. Okay. Here. Alright, I guess we might as well be on this island, so let's do that. Let's start another expedition. Well, there's one direction to expand to. Let's just do barracks. It's easy. And we'll send a scout. Okay, we've reached another island. Oh, the enemy is starting to chop through this forest, which could mean they build another military building. But if they do, we should catapult them immediately. Right, any military building here is definitely in range. Well, the closest they could build one is like there, maybe? If they build one there, is that in range? Hmm. Should be? Yeah, yeah that's the range there. So we should, uh, it's at a diagonal, it's hard to judge. Okay, so we need to expand up to here and then we can get resources around. Once we connect here, uh, then resources can be shifted without ships. Only people need ships, which is very silly because the boats that shift resources have people on them. So it's like, why can't you just carry a person? You can carry this stack of stone and mounds of gold, but a person? No, 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 we can't do a person. That'd be ridiculous. A person on a boat? A person on a boat controlled by a person? Ridiculous. So I will be shifting... Oh, I... I need to mark this out. Um, coal mine.
level 9. It's a little bit overlapping, but sure. Did I make mini boats? Yes. Made a few. Um, I have four. We probably only need a few through the whole mission. At least yellow's strength has slowed somewhat, and red seems to have plateaued again. I don't think red has gold, because they just had a slow increase of soldiers. So yeah, we're preparing another expedition. Then I'll send the this ship south. It said I could head northwest. Is there a landing up here? Maybe it's over on, like, far to the top left or something? Alright, it's nice that yellow is not progressing forward. I think they don't just attack fortresses unless there's a vulnerability. Am I trying to use people as cargo? People aren't cargo, mate. <laughs> but in this game, kind of, yes. <laughs> but apparently people are just too big of a cargo to go on boats. They have to go on ships. This is this is a much more peaceful run compared to last time. Last time I was digging through here and I opened this up and then they just steamrolled me because look look at the military strength. Right? They're just consistently double. They're actually spiking up now. If we look at their gold, they just have a source of gold. Oh, red does have gold. So, red's power increase is quite minimal. So I have a feeling Red is not training new soldiers and maybe just using the gold, or maybe they're not using the gold they're mining at all, and they're just accumulating wealth for no reason. Okay, this harbor is down. Nice. Um, ah, this is ready. Let's go. We need this other ship to start shifting things around. So if we find a separate landmass, I'd want to settle on that. When is this going to be ready? Hopefully soon. It's got a plus. So this seems like the same island here, right? I make that sound like a bad thing. <laughs> People love accumulating wealth for no reason. I don't know, I, I don't get it. Wealth for a reason, I get. Objectives, yeah. Necessary resources, sure. Are oh, this coal mine's done? Alright. One coal mine down. Which means I need to hook up a coal mine here. Mars. Ready to go. Okay. This is still going. How big is... Is this one island or is this a separate island? This might be a separate island. This looks like it's a, 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 it's a separation. So I think I will make landfall. Kind of a weird start, but sure. I think those are two these are two islands.
I want to send a scout. So two harbors, two ships. I should... What are you carrying? A whole bunch of wood. Okay. I'll just start building a third ship. Which I could use for an expedition, I guess, maybe to scout around. Okay. This is fine. Bakery, brewery, yep. Donkey breeder. Yeah, okay. So resource-wise, everything seems fine. Lots of roads being upgraded as well, which is good. Um, oh, we just don't have nearly enough donkeys, though. Can we clear out this gap here, I guess. Yeah, it's not too big of a stack. Should be okay. Okay, so we should be building this barracks now, which is good. That's being constructed as well. Uh, Neptune's bringing over our one scout. Good. Yeah, don't I lack gold? Yep, no gold. That's why we can't do anything. Iron mine. Burn. Which means we connect an iron mine here. I could rebuild the, the weapons manufacturing, but I think I don't have to. We have 14 privates ready. Main thing we need is to set up a gold manufacturing. So what I need to do is have a look at transport. So make sure gold coins and gold ore are like prioritized. Okay, this scout can have a look around. No gold coins into there. I can just start another expedition, which allows me to scout. Mars and Neptune are currently idle. That's fine. So the enemy's not mining these mountains. Which is nice to see. Gold supply for both sides. Both enemies still going. Road near HQ needs an extra flag. Don't think so. Oh wait, you mean here? Yes, correct. Good eye. Talem Grandmaster. Talem Grandmaster? Now it needs another donkey though. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you bringing over? A soldier. Okay. Just need one more barracks to expand up to this coast. I think I think one more barracks should get us close enough to connect borders. Nothing really of note. Don't see any mountains. This harbor building's done. Call a scout. All right, expand here. Uh, 
Is the barracks enough to capture that coastline? I'm a little unsure, so I'm gonna put a guardhouse. Just to make sure we do actually hit it. Now it's got to send one soldier first to occupy it, then it's got to send the second soldier over. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Yeah, I think we do need this third ship. So we have been preparing that expedition. It's like, there's a landing flag, which will connect up to here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if the borders will touch. We'll find out, I guess. This one scout's doing a lot of work. Are you, you're good to go. Okay, so I want to scout around a bit. Interestingly, I couldn't tell this to head south anymore. It can only sail to places where we haven't built a harbor. I guess that sort of makes sense. Just need to find gold. Once we find gold, we will explode. Maybe cut trees south of lake so you can connect road through. Yeah. But it means I have to burn a woodcutter, build a new one, cut through the trees. I mean, I could. Because I, I don't have another axe, but it probably would help. Sure, let's burn a woodcutter and build a woodcutter. I'll try to remember to move it back. Because... Yeah, we're going to want to... Mm. Oh, here. So I'm pretty sure this is the same island. Let's head northwest, see what we find. I'm pretty sure this is this is one island. And this is definitely... Yeah, this is two separate land masses. Good. So this should be where the enemy is. Yep, that's where the enemy is. I probably do not want to settle there. I'm assuming the gate is here. See where else we can like if there's a place where we can settle that's a bit further away from the enemy <laughs> gate on the empty island <laughs> if the gate was like here <laughs> it'd be so annoying you could like wipe out the enemy it's like where's the gate oh it's just over there it's undefended oh okay it's Okay, getting a bit more sense of the ships will bug out same land. Oh, right, right. We can't settle here because it's the same land mass. So it would... They get confused. Another ship? Could do with another ship. Where is this going? Now this landmass here is huge. Yeah, I'm assuming this is all connected. Kind of 
<gasps> it's it's straight up there. There's there's a gate. It's right there. It's actually undefended. It's so annoying. We're here. We it, like why can't we just sail over and take it? <laughs> it's so annoying. It's right there. Are you serious? I... I can't believe it's right there. Like, look, we, we can see it undefended on the same screen as one of our harbors. It's right there. But there's no way to, to get there. Where are you even sailing to? I don't understand. Okay. And we got a scout over here. Good. This looks like some nice mountains. Yeah, it's not quite in range, so I need to get a barracks here. And then we should be connected. Right? It would be prudent to have a connection down this way as well. So let's connect this and then we can connect this and then resources can just flow northwards. So where did the ship end up going? Over here? Oh well, sail back. Okay, we did get another ship going. Apollo is ready to go. So I'm assuming this is where all the gold is. Because it looks like there's no mountains on this island. Maybe there's a mountain here. Maybe. I got one scout on each island, so we can just scout around as we expand. So that's the border there. Twisted Soul, you remember playing this in the 90s? Yeah, like, if you played this game in the 90s, you would just spend months playing this game, right? Okay, so I see the shape of the map. We've got this angle here, and then we've got the two islands. So we basically claim everything on the eastern half. We found our goal, it's right there. Is it actually separated? Because it looks like the ship's going to sail through this way. Mm, no, maybe it's... It is connected. It's right there. We're there. <laughs> it's so annoying. Ugh. Bring over... A soldier. Congratulations. You bought this game in one box with SimCity 2000 and Civilization 2. What an amazing box. That's such a good collection. Okay, barracks, barracks, barracks. That's such a good collection to have in the 90s. Alright. So I'd also want to call like three geologists over. Okay, 
So this will allow a water crossing here. So we basically need two boats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, also... Hmm. I see a problem. Maybe it's better to leave this to the ships. Because otherwise I think we might have to like slowly expand around the mountain if we wanted this connection. I don't know what's over here. Oh, there is some mountains here. Okay, okay, okay. This might be good. Oh, we are under attack. They're attacking us. Oh no, they're upgraded. And we're not upgraded. This could be bad. Burn the fortress. Don't we have a general here? Why do we have a general here? Oh, he came from the nearby fortress. What happened to the border? Why do we expand? I'm gonna save right here. Because I think we can hold it. I don't know why our board is expanded. Oh, the catapults were shooting something. They did actually build a military building. Look, there's soldiers queued up outside. There's no way you can just waltz into the fortress and take it when there's soldiers queued up outside. No way. That That is so... I can't believe that's how that works. I can't believe how that works. What? We can RNG this. You want to have silly mechanics? Let's RNG this. Oh, now it just fixes how that works, is it? So as soon as you kill him, despite the, the line of soldiers outside, you just take it. Wow. I mean, I can burn it. It's just ridiculous that I have to. Are you serious? It's just guaranteed. I can't believe that's how that works. Like, we're still fighting here. Like, how, how do you take the fortress when you're walking into the fortress with my soldiers? I mean, there's... I can't believe that's how that works. That's the kind of thing that makes you hate this game. We have a land crossing now there, so sure. So I basically just lost two farms. flags. This woodcutter is slowly clearing stuff up. Uh, what did we just... Okay. Need to see what's here. 
I've got three geologists here. I'll wait for them to finish that, and then I'll send them up to the mountains. Wait, I wasn't expecting... How many geologists do I have? Zero! Why do I have zero geologists? Geologists use which tools? Is it pickaxes? I started with four geologists. I've sent... Oh, maybe the, the other geologist is just in one of these. Oh, yeah, there's a geologist here. Okay. So I want to just call a geologist there. Send that scout out. Yep. Send that scout out. Okay. Iron mine done. Iron mine done. Coal mine done, coal mine done. So two iron mines, two coal mines. Two iron mines. Two coal mines. Okay, large mountains. So we've expanded up to here. These geologists are still busy. Can't cancel their task. coal. Okay. Get the geologist to reset. I will need to have a fishery here, I think. Have the geologist all returned. Yes. So let's go geologist. 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 Yeah, I should throw a fishery here as well. Because it'll take forever to build anyway. Okay, now here... Throw down another barracks. Are you bringing over... Yeah, you're bringing the geologist, okay. Okay, we lost quite a lot of soldiers in that attack. They have this structure right there. But it's not in range, I think. It's so annoying. It's so close, but I think it might be just one or two tiles out of range. Oh, this one's not, though. Have at it. Oh, I can actually store... No, what? Stop. Take me No, what? This one. Take a... This one. Take I'm clicking... You see the buttons press, but then it doesn't actually change. I can actually store stone there because they feed the catapults. This quarry's done. What? Demolish the quarry. Pull down flag. Okay, we're clearing stuff up here. Oh, tiny bits of gold. Yippee. 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 
So what we need is we'll be bringing the gold back here. And then I will have... Like two mints right here. Fisheries done. Let's burn that. Is this coal mine done? Yes. Burn the coal mine. Clear these flags. Okay, so we burnt that. Yellow seems to be stagnating. Yellow has like taken out all of their gold. I think red has as well. Okay. And we'll connect that up. Okay, so the enemy has maxed their gold supply. Gold mine. Gold mine. I found some gold. I will also have a look there. Meanwhile, I'll need to explore this. If there's gold on these mountains, it would actually be much better because I can just carry it over across here. Oh, right, I can't build any more ships. Where's that expedition ship? It's here. How do I end an expedition? This button? What does this button do? There was no tooltip for that button, but it was an anchor with a <laughs> slice through it. If I can get this ship uh, back in circulation, then we, we should be fine. Because I've got three Apollo, Neptune, yeah, then get Mars going. is clearing up a little bit so I could replace a farm then maybe a second farm there because I lost two farms here I need the grain farms back <clears throat> this barracks down good is this geologist free yes Okay, let's check that. So I'm mainly here for gold. I actually can't expand any further left here. It's <laughs> pretty annoying. And build another fishery here. Just try keep these two gold mines going. Okay. And I think I call another geologist here. Uh, Mars did clear off all of those resources. Dumped them back in the harbor, I think. Okay. So we've got three ships in circulation with three harbors. So I, the general safe rule is one ship per harbor. So three harbors, three ships. Uh, can't you carry gold from island to island to mainland too? Yeah, but I would need a boat crossing here. And I actually can't escape from here. <laughs> right? I might be able to escape if I build around the right side. But I'd have to like creep around like that. It'd be kind of strange. So it might actually be faster to 
Like, I can try slowly expand this way. Because I can't really go this way. I'd have to burn that barracks to build there. Right? But then if I burn that barracks, I don't think I can build there. Maybe I can to go around that side. So it's just... Hmm. If I clear the palm trees, well, they are, then I'll have to bring a woodcutter over, build a woodcutter, bring a woodcutter over. It's like a whole thing. If there's gold right here, it'd make things easy. Dig up that road. Let's have this connect like that. Okay. I'll probably throw a quarry here. Make sure stone keeps coming in for the catapults. No, nope, yellow just found more gold. So did red. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> they have so much gold. So I have to carve my way through all of them. Like all of this. To get to there. The, the gate is actually the furthest away possible. Like there was a place I could set like land here. Which might work if the boats didn't bug out completely. But also, like, if I land here and build a barracks, red just kills me immediately. So that it's just impossible to do that. If I maybe... If I carve my way directly south, it looks like this is empty. Then I could probably just build my way over. But it might be faster to eat my way over. It actually looks like the enemy is not even close to the gate. So I think I have to, like nullify them and then just slowly build my way right Are these gold mines down no they're still building short on some resources why is neptune oh probably to pick let me guess if i understand this correctly coming to pick up the geologist Yes, correct. Because I was sending a second geologist over this way. So just some iron. This geologist is finding his way back. Okay, so I want to put a flag there. Send the geologist there. Scout out the rest of the island. So the two mints are ready to go. How about stock of soldiers? Zero privates, really. Are we not? Is it just too far? Oh, the mines... Hmm. It's a little disconcerting. Like, it's hard to even... Hmm. So here's my two farms are placed. Is food really the issue here? We do have a lot of flour. Let's burn this quarry. The mill just has no grain. Where's our bakeries? I don't get it. We have a stack of flour here. Let me just build another bakery. 
I mean, are resources stuck along these lines? I mean, a little, but not... Maybe somewhat? There's a bit of a... Gridlock here. Wait, I can't connect that? Maybe I can do this. No? If I build a flag there and there, can this connect? Yes. I build a road here. Build a road here. Build a road across here. Maybe that could help solve some problems. Well, looks like iron and coal. Oh, there's all the gold. I just missed it all. <laughs> okay, that's a gold mine and that's a gold mine. Okay. House unoccupied, house unoccupied, house unoccupied. Bringing in... What is that? Fish? Oh, that's fish. Oh, bringing in over a ton of fish and hopefully some miners. So that should start stocking up gold ore to bring back to these mints. I guess it would make sense to maybe have... A coal mine here as well. Just to bring in extra coal. I don't know if we're producing zero soldiers or... Like, are the armories and everything just dead? Nandez, thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Karnaza as well, thank you. Might have to burn mines to free some for gold. I had a total of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Only if I want all the gold mines working. Why did it only bring one miner over? Brought over a bunch of fish. Okay, so we can start mining gold. There is gold here. <sighs> okay. That could be good. Let's see how that looks. Okay. I think yellow has just stopped expanding. That's why their military isn't growing anymore. All their buildings are just full of generals. So that would be pretty scary. Uh, do I need... To, I think I need to move my entire weapons production over. So I need to do... Iron smelter. Iron smelter. Armory. Armory. So we'll do that. And then over on this side, I'll just burn the armory. Burn the armory. Burn the iron smelter. Burn the iron smelter. 
and I will... So I need the beer, sword, and shield all in the same spot. So I need to make sure... Sword, sword and shields don't store up in these buildings. Probably empty it out as well, right? And beer shouldn't be storing in these buildings either. So it pushes it all to beer. Yeah. Correct. Yes. These harbors shouldn't be holding these either. Okay. Do we actually have some gold coming in? Yes! We have some gold. Can I have a gold mine there? I assume a gold mine there. I'll just hook him up. Is that... No. Okay. So there's some gold mines there. We don't have enough miners to hold all of this. So we do need weapons and stuff. Uh, on this side, I'd want to not be holding these things. Let's empty out the coal. That's a lot of iron ore. 77 iron ore. It would make sense to empty those out. It's gonna be a bit of a thing, but I think as, as long as the enemy isn't gonna insist on pushing forward, we should be okay. This storehouse should also not be holding iron ore or coal. Push those out. These two farms are down, so the grain supply should be returned. Do we still not have enough grain? No, all the grain is just consumed. You can't farm in territory that's not owned, huh? That's a bit annoying. Well, this woodcutter... I think I can burn the woodcutter. And then maybe... Start cutting these trees. Just build a barracks here to claim that land and maybe build another grain farm right there. Okay, iron smelter. Okay, these resources should now start fueling into here, but then the weapons are sent straight over to here where all the beer is. Yep. So the there's going to be quite a lot of resource traffic jam here because the iron ore is going to be stocked up. I just gotta make sure iron ore is not super prioritized. Gold is. Yeah, this makes sense. I knew this bottom fortress with no generals would be a vulnerability. This one here now has no generals. But mints, mints have been functioning. They've been doing something. They filled up with coal. I see gold coins, yes. Gold coins now flowing to the fortresses.
So these two gold mines are running. Okay, so the ships should be moving things around. Look at that stack of gold. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, bringing resources over to build these mines. Okay. This makes sense, yeah. So these two smelters, two armories should start running and then sending weapons westwards. These are weapons, right? Yeah. Yeah, weapons. So gold and weapons have priority. Then beer and iron. Iron ore, coal. So right now, the only thing that's not really going to be shifting around properly because of the iron ore is the you can see the iron ore trickling through here our construction materials i'm just trying to get all this iron ore <laughs> over to the other side is that why is Why are gold coins coming this way? Where is this gold coin going? Well, why is a gold coin coming to this harbor building? And then immediately left. Why? Why did it send the gold coin here? Would it help if I did this? So gold does not come here. Just want to show off the money. Okay, these two gold mines. These fisheries house unoccupied. Don't we have spare fishers? Maybe not. Let's burn that fishery. Let's burn that fishery. No fish people arrived here. That's why these mines are going a bit slow. What are we short on here? Mm, it's, it's running okay, it's running okay. Think they built another military structure there yes they actually lost some soldiers there so we killed some of them okay so i basically need to stock up generals 9, 18, 27. I feel like 27 generals is not enough. Are we even training more soldiers? Like, where are they going? I haven't been building more barracks. Okay, I'm looking for a gold coin. Are gold coins even... 
reaching these fortresses. I can't remember if this is how many generals we had before. Did we gain a general? Where? South Island as a barracks that accepts gold. Where? No. 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 Southmost? This one. Right, that I built there, which doesn't do anything. Burn it. We don't need it. Okay, well, no gold got there. See, they're, they're, they still insist on sending the gold coin here first. Even though it says, don't accept gold coin, it just sends gold coins there. All the gold coins come here before they go where? There's, there's like four gold coins here. Where, where are they going? All the gold coins have to come down here first. But then where do they go? Which way is this gold coin going? I see all these gold coins floating around. No, that's coming down this way. So then this gold coin is shifted up. So this, this gold coin here is now going upwards. But to where? Before a coin can be used, it needs to be stored first. But why isn't it stored here? It's passing a storehouse. Okay, there's a gold coin. So now it's going back up here. We can sh What? Really? This road cannot... We can connect there, I guess. So, okay, then it goes back to the right, then please go up. No! The gold coin's going back to the right! The gold coin's going back to the right. Look at this. None of the gold coins are getting to the, the fortresses. Can anyone tell me why? They're bouncing between storehouses. Here it is. It's going down. Oh wait, maybe this is going to the southern island. Where where's the other gold coins? Let's let's watch a second one. Maybe this this is just a bad command from the gold coin going to the southern island. Let's let's watch the next gold coin. Okay. Here it is. There's the gold coin. Okay, there's gold coins going into these storehouses. This storehouse as well. Okay. Okay, okay. So now it's coming this way. Okay. Please go up. Please go up. 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 No. It's going right. It's just bouncing gold coins from harbor to harbor, is it? See, th this is this is what makes the game so difficult. I now have like eight gold coins just walking around. Here it is, and then it goes down. Are they in the harbor building? There's 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 a gold coin in this harbor right here. just there. Meanwhile, no zero gold coins are reaching my fortresses. Hmm. 
one gold coin, two gold coins. It's just putting gold coins in storehouses. There's two gold coins in this harbor. There's two gold coins in this storehouse. There's a gold coin just floating down. See, there's all these, these gold coins. I, I don't know how to fix this. I, I cannot attack the enemy if I don't train generals. Burn the harbor. If I burn this harbor, no people can get on or off of this island. Okay, let's see this. Just three gold coins sat right here. I set it to empty the gold coins. Please get out of there. Let's try here. No gold coins. Empty the gold coins. This one already, right? Yeah. This one. No gold coins. Em empty gold coins. No gold coins. Like, I, I just want the gold coins to get to the fortresses. I... <laughs> It's like they don't know those fortresses are there. Where is this gold coin going? To the left. Oh, this one? Oh, all the gold coins are just gonna stockpile here. Okay. So I have to empty this one as well. Okay. Now where are you gonna go? Okay, here comes out a gold coin. There's a pile of gold coins right outside this storehouse. They don't move. The, it's it's not recognizing the fortresses. The HQ is allowed to get them, but mainly they're supposed to go to the fortresses. Look, it, it, it straight up doesn't even recognize a destination. I've set all the storehouses to not... Oh, 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 oh. They're, they're sort of moving now. They're sort of moving now. See this pile of gold coins? I think that they're now finally moving up. They weren't even going to the HQ for a while. So we had to wait for a while. Keep in mind, gold coins... They're max priority. They should move before anything else. But they were just helping themselves to other things. Okay, let, let's see where they go. They're at least heading up towards the HQ now. I bet they'll just sit in the HQ. Need to make the road shorter to the fortress. I mean, I'd have to cut through this forest and would that be short enough? I don't know. Huge congestion on flags near the HQ. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Gold coins are highest priority. So however much congestion there is, gold coins move first. So I'm seeing a gold coin here. There it is. There's a gold coin. Okay. See, it doesn't matter how many other resources there are. The gold coin moves. Okay, where's it going? Okay, down. That's kind of a good sign because fortresses are down. Okay, here comes the gold coin. Okay, now grab the gold coin. Yes, good. Move the gold coin. Okay. Now move 
Move the gold coin. In into the fortress. Towards the fortress. Please go left. Please go left. Yes, it's going left. Okay. Okay. Into the fortress. Into the fortress. Yes, into the fortress. <sighs> you so want to optimize my road. It, it, it's not even like it's not even a question of optimization at this point it's that we've been producing gold coins for a while but <laughs> like see there's, there's just look look right here there's gold coins sat outside the mints because apparently there's a range limit so all the gold coins that we had here. Like will be sent. But now all the, the all the gold coins are just piling up outside the mints. So do I have to micro this for the rest of the game? How do I get these gold coins to recognize there are fortresses? It doesn't even recognize the, the HQ. Try breaking the waterway. You mean this one here? I mean, not much is going through there. The one to the island. Okay, let's pull down that flag. Rebuild the road to the fortress. Maybe I can build a landing flag here and a land. Maybe I can build a waterway across. No, not allowed. Okay, not allowed. Uh, maybe I can't build a road from here, can I? No. Pull down flag. No. Interrupt. Pull down flag. So that doesn't work. See, there's just no... <laughs> we can't actually build a road. Trees are in the way. Borders blocked. Borders blocked. We'll, we'll, we'll just have the gold coins pile up for now. <laughs> this, why, why is this so hard? Uh, like if I can just train up these soldiers, I can go attack. I can I can go do things, but no, it's not gonna work. Um, I I guess I have to build a barracks here. Run that flank. No, I can't. Building a barracks there won't cover it. Maybe if I. Destroy a forester. And maybe we can start. Destroy two foresters. We can start clearing some of these trees, I guess. Build a road there. <laughs> Move the mints midway. The gold coins have moved somewhat. They're going. They're going. Are they actually going? See, I don't even know if this is... I, I, I saw a stack of like four gold coins at the mince. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe this is working now. But I now have to allow gold ore to sit in this harbor because we're actually just piling up gold ore there. <laughs> Who knows what worked or what didn't. Have we even been training soldiers? Yes, we have. Uh, 
Okay. We've been training it up. Okay, the gold coins are going. Once I have enough soldiers in stock, I have five, I'd want to build it. Oh, I can just rebuild that fortress, I think. Let's rebuild the fortress. Because I wanted four fortresses worth of soldiers. Four fortresses worth of generals. Waiting on gold ore. Gold ore is just sat there, okay. Okay, so whatever it was, I, I, I burned the foresters. What else did I do? I, I burned the foresters. I tried water crossing across this, that didn't work. I cut that crossing and I cut this crossing, but that didn't seem to change anything, but then it seems to just take a little while. The waterway was a problem. But then, like, how come when you break the waterway, it took, like, three minutes before the gold coins moved? The game probably tries to distribute resources evenly across all storage houses, including harbors, so everything can be closer to where it ne it's needed to be. So if you forget to block them in a single harbor, they'll be sent across the entire map first before ever getting the order to go to a fortress. No, well, the problem was we... The, the gold coins were literally just sat on the ground. They had nowhere to go. They did not recognize a destination. Like, it did not recognize the fortresses as a valid destination for gold coins. But wares always go to the closest storehouse. Um, well, they went to this storehouse. And then from, that, from this storehouse, it sent it to this harbor. And then from this harbor, it sent it back to this storehouse. Or to this harbor. And then it, the gold coins were just sitting inside this storehouse and this harbor. There were like three gold coins here, three gold coins here. And they were just there. Right? They were stored. Gold coins, gold coins. Just piles of gold coins stored in this storehouse and this harbor. After this storehouse sends it over to this harbor and then back again. And they were just sat there. Now see? Like, this gold coin. It doesn't recognize a destination. And it might eventually. This gold coin doesn't recognize a destination. None of them recognize the HQ as a viable destination for gold coins. Right? This fortress is now fully generals. This one got a few gold coins. I don't know if more gold coins are coming. Yes. So, is it because one gold coin is being sent? Therefore, no other gold coins can be sent right now. Oh no, look, two gold coins just decided to send. Like, see, they just randomly... They're now all going. Why? Like, they were just sat there, and then they're not. Then they're moving. Then it's fine. I, d I don't understand. Let's have nine privates ready. To fill this fortress. Then maybe we can build a road across here, if that somehow reaches. There's a timer that checks occasionally, like maybe, I guess. We just have no food. Burn this quarry. Burn this woodcutter. Ok, 
Okay. So we're rebuilding our fortress. Where are all the gold coins? I see a gold coin here. Is it going to the headquarters? The gold coin goes into the headquarters and directly out again. But it's being brought down. Okay, good, 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 good. It's not going back to where it came from. And the gold coin comes down this way. By not reading the news, I'm missing something. Oh, I don't even know how to browse. This mine is exhausted. This building has caused you to lose land. No more fish. I mean, it, it, there's there's nothing really important here. Is it this gold mine is exhausted? Yeah. Go occupy the other gold mine. What happened to... Our food... Where is all of our food going? Because the... we've got three bakeries running. Where is all of our bread? Let's go to transport. Let's put food on the highest priority. Some gold coins went in there. Whatever, that's fine. Um, it's not great. Really? Can't build a... What was that? What did I just expand? Oh no, this fortress. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Forgot I built something. I thought some barracks moved in. Okay, so there's that. I think some gold coins have gotten to this fortress. Now I can build a road across here. I can rebuild farm. I can rebuild farm. Get two farms down. Let's throw down a mill. And a bakery. And a well. Let's try boost up food production. Oh, they instantly attack. We do have a general that came over to help defend. Okay. Am I gonna have to burn this down? Yeah, just instant wrecked, huh? Build food production on the island. Are the gold coins actually disappearing? This is so annoying.
No, so this is unbuildable. <sighs> Did you see? There were gold coins being shifted over. And because it's under attack, the gold coins actually just disappeared. So we can't build that. Red has so much gold. Like, I just wanted this fortress to be trained up. Why is that so hard? We do have a private. So I can't have that. So I basically just lost nine soldiers there, which is not ideal. Uh, are they attacking me again? Yeah, at least here they face off against generals. So something's triggered them to want to attack. They're not attacking with generals, so that's handy. Do we have more gold coins coming? I have no idea. This harbor has 16 gold sat in it. Is it because the mints don't have coal? Mill, bakery, well, farm. Yeah, this is not helping. How are we losing so many soldiers here? Our generals are dying to their normal soldiers? Is that what's happening? Because see, th their masks are not gold. They're the silver kind. We've got generals. But see, my troops are dropping and theirs are not. Look at this fight. This, this should not be so difficult. And we lose a general. Is this guy going to kill another general? Maybe. They're normal soldiers. Yeah, look, he just killed two generals. This this soldier, which is not even general level, just killed two of my generals. How, how are you supposed to play this game? This fortress now has no generals? No, they just killed all the generals in this fortress. Look, they're sending a guy with not even a mask out. And we, of course, have a guy we're, we're, who's promoted, right? It's, it's just so incredibly frustrating and difficult and bad. An, a non-general can kill two of my generals. They they have double our military. Look, look, they're attacking me. I was defending with generals and see my soldiers go down and their soldiers stay the same. They they have insane amounts of gold. Like I have these fortresses which are filled with generals, but they're not going to attack that one, of course. Look, they're actually they're they're going to win. They're going to kill this fortress. Their guy was just one level under general. Okay, so their guy was one level under general, but can kill two of my generals. So, 
let's say my strength is 10 and their strength is 4 and they win. <laughs> I'm gonna reload. This is, this is ridiculous. They're charging so much into this fortress. They're, they're gonna get it. I just want to see if maybe the game will side with, with me for once. General is 7 hit points, officer is 6. Okay, so I had 14 versus their 6 and they win. 6 beats 14. 6 beats 14. That, that's what I'm up against. <laughs> so I'm reloading here and I have to instantly burn this. Okay, let, wh what else can I do? Let's creak into it. Let's send four generals there. Let's send three there. Let's try Blitzkrieg into the HQ. See with bad enough dice rolls. Yeah, I know. I get I get the worst dice rolls. I encounter all the bugs and I get the worst dice rolls in all games every time. But Usually, the worst case scenario is not that bad. Also, I told people to attack strong attackers. It's sending not generals. Sometimes it just does that. Right? This fortress filled with generals. No, they have to attack all from the same fortress. No, screw you. Burn this. You're not taking that. It's so ridiculous. Like, all these 18 generals, I cannot get them to attack. Strongest from closest. Yeah, I know. But, like, look. I can now attack this same building with eight generals from that fortress. So it's strongest from closest, not strongest in what you have. Yeah, let's, let's send six generals against that. Now they'll come from here. Great. Are we even making a dent? I had to burn this fortress because I want to attack here. It will only take soldiers from that fortress. It won't take soldiers from these fortresses until here. Because you can see here, I want to attack. It'll only take soldiers from this fortress before it takes a single... Only when one soldier remains in this fortress will it start sending soldiers from this fortress. Which means we make this vulnerable. If they counterattack me now, I gotta burn this fortress. I sent six generals to attack this. I bet we can't even take it. Need to change the settings. Please, Rots, tell me which setting. I, I can't wait. I hope you're right. I really hope you're right. But please tell me which setting. Oh, we got it. Wow. They, of course, already retook that. Let's just send four generals there. Will it be four generals? Yeah. Which which setting? Please, please tell me which setting to stop that from happening. Oh, burn it immediately, enemy catapult. Oh, yeah. I missed that. And all these soldiers here, they're lost forever because we don't have a storehouse nearby. Soldiers just get lost. They don't... They, they can walk over here in a straight line, but then they get lost and just die. In the military menu, you think it's amount of defense. Okay, you gotta be very careful here. You think could mean a lot of things. So, okay. Here's the fewer defenders, more defenders. It is currently in the middle. So I'm I think it doesn't work. Rots, any comment? <laughs> Please tell me, because I'd love for it to work 
the way I want it to work, but I think it's literally impossible. In terms of amount of defenders, it is 50. Halfway through the bar, right there. But it is emptying one fortress before it takes a single soldier from the next fortress. I'm just wondering if I can happen to burn their HQ here. With four generals. See, and then it says no attack possible, which is strange because these fortresses are now filled again. Like, how come I can't send another attack? Because it's currently under attack? More defense. Okay, so if I do this... Would that mean it will take four soldiers from here and four soldiers from here if I send eight to attack? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure that's gonna work like that? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've tried that. I don't think that's how that works. You're not 100% sure? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say no, it doesn't work. It, it just doesn't. Don't ask me why. Don't make me tap the clip. <laughs> no, it's wrong. It's not true. We made it up. <laughs> well, we couldn't burn that with four generals. Can I attack it now? No, no attack possible. If I just do this, fewer defenders, can I attack it now? No attack possible. Why? Why can I suddenly not attack it? Why can I suddenly not attack it? Reload and save, uh, try the settings. Yeah, we can do that. So we go back to here. We have to burn this immediately. And now I go to military setting, put maximum defenders. So there's nine, nine, eight. I think maybe a soldier will come through here. Also, I could attack the H Did you see that? I could attack the HQ. But then, after that attack, I couldn't attack the HQ anymore. Uh, so I want to... So let's see. I'll do strong attackers 3 on this one. I'll do strong attackers 3 on this one. And nope! Nope, it'll empty out this fortress before it takes a single soldier. And now they counterattack that fortress. And I have to burn that fortress. <laughs> Look at this is ridiculous! Like, the only way to attack is to make, create an opening. Look, they're coming already. They see, this fortress only has two guys. We have to go take it now. Take it now. These fortresses filled to the brim. Doesn't matter. This fortress right here, emptied out. It's ours now. Try sending more. Only when there's one left here can we burn that godhouse. Look, I don't even know if we can hold this. There's two soldiers. Maybe we can build, defeat one of their privates. Maybe. Yeah. I'll send three to attack this watchtower. And we'll take from here. Because there's now only one soldier left, right? That's how that works. It's so frustrating. Okay, so there's a catapult. We gotta burn this straight away. And see, I don't, I don't know why we can't attack. So th this, this bar here just 
doesn't serve any purpose. Does this actually let me connect up here? Just gonna see if we can actually do something. I don't know if that catapult is in range of that watchtower. Just need to see. Oh, see, now I can attack with eight. Let's attack eight onto their HQ. Because I have no outposts in range. Yeah, but I can send eight soldiers here. They're not coming out of this. They're coming out of this. Look, there goes the soldiers. <laughs> I know I took the sol the watchtower so I can now attack this, but how come the soldiers that are attacking come from there and they couldn't reach before but now they can because there's like a little flag on the way? <laughs> like the... I would like to understand the logic of this game. Unfortunately, there, there is no consistency. So they took that back. And now I can attack it again. The soldier's out of there, I guess? Oh, they're coming out of everywhere. Right, so this fortress has to empty out to one, and then it'll take a couple soldiers, right? This fortress has to be empty. Just how it be sometimes. <laughs> well, look at this queue of soldiers. Where are they even coming from? I sent so many soldiers here. Where are they? Where'd they go? Did they all just die? Let's send more. I said send four. One, two, three, four. All right, empty out this fortress and then send the rest. See, I want to send four generals. There are four generals available, but it insists on sending from this fortress, so it'll send three privates and a general. Three privates and a general. <laughs> Three privates and a general. If I could just send four generals, I, I could do what I want to do. <laughs> it's, it's so, so annoying. <laughs> uh, it has to send these privates first before it sends any of these generals. It has to. That It must. That's the rule. Like, if the game, like, here's the thing, if the game worked as it was meant to work, this would actually be pretty straightforward. I would just stack up 19 generals, uh, 9, 18, 20, 27 generals, and go steamroll them, right? See, I can't take this watchtower because look, see these privates? I'm gonna say, send seven units. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six here. So I'm gonna attack with seven. And it sends all of these privates first and one general. Oh, two generals, sorry. My miscount. It's gotta send the five privates first. And then it'll send the generals. <laughs> if I could just send four generals, I I'd just take it. But no, I gotta burn through all of these privates. But I can't burn this fortress, because if I burn that fortress, I won't be in range. And even though these soldiers can easily walk over to kill that, uh, they won't. <laughs> and see, they, they fight the non-generals first, so I just lose soldiers. Like, see, it killed, gotta kill this private before they hit the general. <laughs> 
Uh, isn't it because you told your strongest units to defend? Um, no. No, we, we've been through this. It's just, this fortress is closer, so it will send all soldiers from this fortress first, because it's closer. Can't we experiment with other questionable settings in that menu? Guys, this is mission 8. We've done a lot of experimenting over the last seven missions. It just doesn't work. Oh, you know you could read the manual? No, no. Manual's wrong. Just thought you know. Want to know? Manual's wrong. Question mark in the game? Yeah, I can actually... Oh, you actually can't click things. Um, this description here? It's wrong. This description is wrong. This is actually incorrect. So no. <laughs> Maximum attack on the HQ. Please send some generals. No? Where are you? Where did I even get seven soldiers from? Maximum attack on HQ. Six. Okay, there we go. Now that fortress has emptied out. This fortress? No, none of them will, will see action. This fortress? No one will ever attack. Even though this one's technically closer than that one, but I guess it counts left and right more important than up and down. Y-axis more important than X-axis. Can I attack again? Four. Okay. Maybe that? That will send four soldiers. Okay. One soldier remaining here. One soldier remaining here. And now we can <laughs> finally send some soldiers out of this. Can I send more? Yeah, two more. Let's send two more. Two more generals? Yes? Okay. Good. Let's empty everything. One more? Yep. Let's empty everything into that HQ. Change the 5th and 6th bar military menu all the way to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What would that do? It'll, it would... I mean, 5th is already all the way to the left. This is center of country. It would just shift soldiers out of the one strike. Oh, and see, of course, because to attack, you have to empty out the fortresses. They just counterattack. There's one soldier in there. Who cares? They'll just attack back. Like, what would this do? Like, actually, it would have almost no effect. Like, it would take a soldier out of that barracks right now. Which were already empty before this. <laughs> will this go on YouTube? It probably will, because I, I cannot fathom how else to beat this mission. I, I think I just have to save here and then I pick up another day and this will just be a long video. It, it's just, I'm, I'm so frustrated that this is how the game has to work. See, now this fortress is basically empty, so they just come and take that. You know, there's no way to say four soldiers from here, four soldiers from here, four soldiers from here, go attack. You, the only way to attack is to make yourself lose no no i have the save from before this i'll use that and i just i don't know how to get around this like i'm trying to consider some thing that might work like I can't land here because it's just broken. Attacking with... Like, if I want to send, like, eight soldiers to attack, I will lose a fortress. <laughs> the military is diminishing. Yeah, but they have... Like, this big stockpile of gold. And 
Like, I'm I'm struggling to just get coins to go to a fortress. Like that that alone is a struggle. Sometimes they just don't. So it doesn't look like I can swarm there. HQ. So that doesn't work. Like, how do you even like capture one point here and hold Oh! I killed the HQ. Nice. <laughs> but now my entire army is dead. Yeah, and they don't technically need the HQ. Like, how how do you just go attack one place and hold on to it? So I have a fort behind a fort with catapults. I attack from the front fortress, which gets counterattacked and captured. I let it fill and bombard with catapults. Yeah, resources don't matter. The AI gets them for free. Yeah, see, they, they don't lose any gold or anything like that. Hmm. It says here they lost merchandise. Like, I could maybe capture this watchtower and try hold on to that. Because, like, any... Any structure I attack and capture, they immediately just recapture, right? So that doesn't work. Oh, they actually just wrecked my whole country. Look at that. Right? So it's like, how do you... So first I gotta burn this. Okay. Like, I can't even scout further up. Maybe if I... Try, no, try send a scout this way. So I can see that watchtower. So we know that if I just wait, they will eventually just capture this fortress, right? They'll just overpower me and capture that fortress. Yeah, I'll leave this military here. If any one of you have any suggestions that you are 100% certain will work, tell me. If you are not 100% certain that changing some of those sliders will do what I want it to do, then don't suggest it. <laughs> right? There's the military slider there. You probably have to wait longer and have warehouses filled with soldiers next to fortresses full of coins. I would love to, but it doesn't. It won't work. Because for a long time, gold coins were coming out of these mints, going into the storehouse, going over to this harbor, going over to this harbor, going into this storehouse, and sitting there. <laughs> I had to build a road and then all the gold coins started moving <laughs> but right now if i wait see they're, they're just gonna kill me they're actually just gonna come here and kill me right they'll overpower me because they have double my military strength let's try take this watchtower it's outside of range of the catapult and maybe it's something that we could actually hold maybe who knows? I'm attacking while they're doing this. But I have to burn this fortress. Right? If I see him walking in, I'm burning the fortress. I forgot there's a confirmation button. Okay, well... We can retake that, I guess. I 
Oh, right, I lost that fortress. See? Also, when it comes to defense, uh, like, when I attack the enemy, neighboring buildings come and help. But for us, nah, they don't do that. No way. Why can't I not click on this watchtower? What? Oh, I'm building a road. Why is this general not going into the watchtower? Questions abound. What? They burnt the fortress? Oh, my cat- did my catapult destroy the fortress? My catapult burned it? <laughs> okay. So, okay, alright. So I have to burn this. They'll- they- they just come and kill this fortress. I mean, there's three generals in this fortress, right? So... It's not undefended. It's just got another coin, so there should be four generals in this fortress. Thing is, if I attack anything, it'll take out of this fortress first. There's the military sliders, okay. If a general isn't moving, it's probably because another enemy soldier's on his way to fight him. Oh yeah, I, I know that. If the soldiers just sort of stood outside. So like, attack with 17. Like, I just want to send eight, but it's going to empty out this fortress and then I'll lose that fortress. Right? So, here's the here's the problem. I want to attack this watchtower. But, every single soldier I send will come out of this fortress first. These soldiers will not even be touched until this is down to one. I know it's confusing, but sometimes you really want the enemy to capture a building. But yes, I understand that. But in this situ... Look, here's the situation right here on the map. Which building do I want them to capture? That watchtower will get reinforcements from all over, so take out the reinforcements first. How? The southernmost fortress? I mean, they'll take it. And then my catapult will just... See, this this wall here means they can't road over to it. So they'll take it, and then my catapult will kill them, and then they lose two soldiers. It's a challenge that's equal parts fun and frustrating. I mean, maybe, if there's a solution. What it Like, there's 200 people watching. What, what's, what's a solution that we could do here? I mean, here's the military sliders. Here's my three fortresses. This one is being attacked. I could counterattack. Yeah, no settings can fix this. Keep building closer fortresses. Doesn't work. As soon as you build a fortress, they kill it. You would not attack until you have full generals in that fort. Can't. They keep attacking. And they keep killing my generals, so there's n there's never been full generals in this fort. Actually, if I just wait right now, they will just kill this fort. They'll overpower it. So, like, the so solution people seem to be saying is wait. Okay, let's wait for that fortress to fall, the catapult will kill it, and then... Huh? Then what? You need to play the games how the devs intended. I'd love to know how, how the devs intended it, but the manual and the instructions in the game are wrong. <laughs> well, how, how did the devs intend this? 
Like what what is what is the correct path forward right here? What is the intended way forward? Super slope. Yeah, but to do what? Catapults all the way. Where okay, where do I build the next catapult? I've got two catapults here and two catapults here. They're on the front lines. I can't get catapults further forward. Empty this fortress, then send two generals to every enemy house. No, because I, I if I send two generals here, there's three generals inside. Also, as soon as I send generals out, they attack and take all these fortresses. Then they kill my whole base. Should have been a quarry early in the game to let them connect to your fortress. Um, I tried that in my first attempt. I built quarries here, cleared this out. They just came and killed me. They just attacked and wiped me out. <laughs> so that didn't work. In this run, they seem to have stopped attacking. I don't know why, they just stopped attacking. Make a save. Might have to reset and start with planning from the start. That's that's this run. This is my second try. <laughs> this is with me planning, but I, I can't fathom a better plan. That's why I'm I'm sat here figuring this out. The first watchtower you build takes four times longer to build than a barracks. I mean, that slowed us down. Like, this watchtower went up pretty quick. Like, with the starting resources and near destination, that went up in like two minutes. I mean, I'm already playing this, having failed the first time, done a number of experiments and restarted. I know where the final goal is. It's right there. The furthest bottom corner from where we are, of course. Um, I planned this from the start. I built up this wall so they wouldn't attack me. I went and got down to these islands, got the gold out of them, brought it back, generated the gold coins. Started training up these generals. It's just I don't know how to attack without losing a fortress. Like, so here, here's my problem right now. How do I attack without losing a fortress? Can you land and build on their island in the south? No. As soon as you build a barracks or whatever, they'll just take it. Can you build a training fortress anywhere so it cannot be attacked and can be filled with gold coins for training? I mean, even if even if I did that, let, let's say... Let's say all of this were generals. I mean, this one is almost full generals, right? It just needs three more gold coins. One's coming right now. It's full generals, okay? If I attack, they counterattack and kill my fortress. If I send too few units, we don't capture the building. Or we capture the building and then like one general sat in there and they immediately take it back. Two ways to win missions that are one, find the gate, just try to fight through to it even if you lose everything in the process. Uh-huh. Cheese with catapults to diminish enemy soldiers. Yeah, so I don't know how to cheese with catapults with this map setup.
And yeah, the HQ doesn't trade. <laughs> Just to let you know. Like, I just, I don't know how to advance here with catapults. On the last map, yes, I did that. If you watch my Mission 7, I did that. It worked great. But with this setup, I don't know how to do it. There, okay, so all the fortresses are now generals, which is great. So I can make a save right here. Right, so this, we, we've got 9, 18, 27 generals. Do I have to attack every building I see? Is that how I do it? Because then they can't counterattack because I'm intercepting everything they've got. Because everything will be preoccupied. Is that how we do it? Can't you attack with so many soldiers that the watchtower gets full of units? Yeah, but then I lose a fortress. I can attack this with eight generals. I'll take the watchtower, but then there's one general left in this fortress and they take the fortress. The only worry is, they could have, like, a building here that can attack this fortress, and I can't see it. That's empty. Then you burn your three fortresses and build them again after. In the meantime, they recapture all of these structures and attack my HQ. I can't. I think I have to uh, just try attack every building. So let's try send... Like, how do I match this? Like, I think just the number of buildings, that's like... One, two, three, four, five, six. I can see six military structures. They're all... Like, this one's full. This has six in there. So I have to send, like, eight just there. If I'm expecting to win that. Four there, four there, three there, four there, and I'm out. I don't have enough... There's one. I don't know why I can't send that general, but sure. Let's see what this does. So this is, instead of focusing our attack, we're just trying to wipe a whole board out of them. So I'm not attacking this, which I think is fine because there's only one soldier in there so they can't that can't counterattack. Okay, so we're facing off some units here. Big Q forms here. We're fighting there. A uh, military strength does count rank in gold, by the way. So we take that. Okay, we're fighting here. So I think this means they can't counterattack. Is this how you have to do it? Okay, okay. Mm. 
interrupt road building, build road to there. Let's try do this. So now I'm also fighting here. So I should win that. So this prevents them from counterattacking. So this is the mo I well we we got to let this play out. See how this works. So I did that. And now they're already counterattacking there. Yeah, we're already fighting here. I don't know if I should push forward more. I'll make a save there. So I could try sit here. And see if this whittles them all down. They took that back. Wow. And my fortresses are still empty. I mean, this had the most success so far. But I think that they'll just overpower us and take it all back, right? And this isn't even the second enemy. <laughs> yeah, then they just take it back. So we need to... Yeah, so I think what I need to do is I need to let the game run for like three hours. And then we can attack. I think that's what we have to do. Yeah, I just have to let the game run. Like, literally do nothing for three hours. I think that's what I need to do. Why not do the attack I did and then delete the buildings? Because then all my generals would just die. Retreat back to the fortress line? They won't retreat, they'll just die. They get lost. Like, the generals here, you delete this building, they'll wander around, and then they die. You cannot retreat. <laughs> it's not a mechanic, it doesn't work. I need to build a storehouse, but... Maybe if I build a storehouse there, it might work, but it depends. If they're f too far, like here, that might be too far. Like, that that's quite a long ways. So, at this distance... Even with a storehouse here, they could still just get lost. Even when you build roads? Yeah, we tested. Roads don't do anything. Roads don't help your, your people find their way. Yeah, if there's a storehouse nearby, they'll find their way. We tried with... we tested with and without, without roads, there's no effect. Um, we thought for a long time that it was with roads. Uh, because apparently that's return to the roots. <laughs> yeah, see, the problem is we can't fill these... Like, even if we capture this, let's say even if we had infinite generals, right? If we do that Blitzkrieg attack... 
all the generals are filling back into these fortresses before they go fill these up. Right? And there's like three... These can only hold three units, right? These buildings here can only hold three units. Right? So let's say we attack. And let's say we have three generals surviving. And three generals sit in there. Right? Then the enemy counterattacks with like four units. Right? And as we saw earlier with the fortress here, even if we have a queue of units around it, as the units like settle their differences, quite often the attacking unit just starts walking into the building and the defending unit walks in with them a split second behind, right? And then the attacking unit walks in and then captures the building. Even though there was a defending unit, like chasing it basically, right? So even if we do capture this and three generals sit in there, they attack with like four units, you know, and then they kill one, two, and then let's say another general starts coming. Okay, time to reinforce that guardhouse. They send a general over. Even if the defense still goes on and the general's coming, the general queues up outside and they're fighting. Okay, the fight resolves. The attacking unit just walks inside. The general that got here doesn't stop it from being recaptured. Right? So even if we had infinite generals, it's like so frustrating and impossible to just capture a building. Right, like, see, we're... we're Oh, look, look at that. Like, we're getting tons of generals. Like, if I attack this again, bam. 17 units. Sure, why not? <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Because then they just counterattack. See, immediately, the moment I press the attack button... Oh, no, no, that's reinforcing there. Um, but quite often, the moment I press the attack button... They just come back at us. Right? And this is, of course, is the biggest problem. Empty fortress, empty fortress, full fortress. What if you push and immediately expand? What do you mean by immediately expand? Oh yeah, I know there's one stripe here. I know that. But that's not how it determines how these soldiers go. Because the soldiers here can still attack. I just have to send more. Which I could. Like, this, this one could send more. I've attacked their HQ with soldiers from this fortress. No problem. It works. Let's dump soldiers into attacking their HQ. There, see? I just dumped all soldiers into attacking their HQ. There they go. You'll empty the cross flag near border first. Yeah, I know, but then, like, there's these two cross flags. Like, the the line here, all it means is this one is last. This one is first, this one is second, this one is third, basically, right? But there's still, like, these two, the cross flags, there's no way to take four units from here and four units from here and attack with eight. No, they'll take eight units from here and zero units from here, leaving this fortress empty. So I can definitely wipe out their HQ here. Oh, they retook that. Oh, 
A red soldier joint. I don't even know. Like, why? I don't even know why these guys are fighting down here. That's strange. I'm still winning now. Well, all of these soldiers I sent here, we might kill the HQ, and then all of our soldiers will get lost and die. Maybe. Possibly. That could happen. Come on. There's no one in there. I just sent a unit to go attack this. There's literally no one inside. What happens if the HQ goes down? Well, they lose a bunch of resources, but it's not really game over. Because the HQ is basically just a glorified storehouse. How did I take this one? So I can connect that up. And it's impossible to tell how many soldiers there are inside of the HQ. For some reason we're not winning this time. We burned the HQ last time. But we didn't win here. How fascinating. Like, there's just so much RNG. Yeah, and we're back to square one. <laughs> yeah. So I think what I need to do is I need to let the game run for three hours. Like, literally, do nothing. And I think I'm going to try that. You know? I'll do a cut or edit or whatever. And I will just let units stockpile for three hours. Check your current gold production. It's going up. We've almost got as much gold as yellow. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll do it off stream, off camera. We'll just do a cut <laughs> and be like, here's me three hours later doing literally nothing for three hours. The intended developer experience for The Settlers 2. <laughs> that, that's, that's like literally the intended experience. Do nothing for three hours. Change game speed with cheat engine. Thing is, I'm using the history collection. Cheats don't work. No cheats. Not sure if intended, but would be a way. I think it's intended because everything points to that being the intention. You have to have a ginormous stockpile of military units before you even begin any conquest, right? Because the AI just seems to have like infinite resources. So you can't like chip away chip away and come back later chip away no you you have once you start the attack you have to keep going until they're completely crippled you know and we we barely de look at the map that's how far we got after yellow there's red which is according to military strength as powerful as yellow after red then we can expand over to the gateway so we basically need to have the military strength of double red and yellow. Like red and yellow combined, we have to have double the military strength. Oh, right. Oh, so are we still like, look, look at the alliances here. Red is supposedly still allied with me. If I close this window and open it up again, we're no longer allied. It doesn't update unless you close the window and open it again. <laughs> Uh, so basically you see this blue line here before we started attacking they're both here 
I need to be double theirs. Like, I need to be, like, blue line here. And then attack. And I just need, like, three hours. Right? Like, the gold mines are mining. And the food's being produced. The beer's being brewed. Right? The weapons are being manufactured. Like, I might have to come back every hour or so and reposition mines. But then eventually I'll have, like, 50... No, I'll probably need, like, a hundred generals, and then I just steamroll them. Right? I think that's what I gotta do. You wonder if the south position is cheesable? I think it might be, if you focus 100% on it. We've tried that before. What, what do you do? Because, remember, uh, the ship will only send one soldier first before reinforcing, right? When, let's say you build a fortress here, right? A ship will summon one soldier because an occupied military building needs one soldier. So the request, once a fortress is down, is one soldier. He'll go over here, grab one soldier, bring it down here, deposit one soldier, one soldier will enter the fortress and it's now occupied. Now there's a request for eight soldiers. Okay, the ship will go to go get eight soldiers. They've captured the fortress. <laughs> That's how it works. Only one soldier is requested for us. All of these barracks here, right? It's the same thing. An, un an, un an unoccupied military building requests one soldier. Oh, Red was my ally at the start. Um, I suppose maybe that's cheesable, but as soon as Yellow attacks me, um, Red becomes my enemy. You guess they request nine soldiers from the beginning? No. You don't know how it works with ships? No, no, no. We don't know how it works with harbors. But also, keep in mind, this is the same landmass as this. So, the ships just might bug out and not send anyone. Because we've, we've tried this before on another mission, you know, setting up here right next to the enemy. And sometimes no one gets sent because the harbors are on the same landmass. Do I want to know how to beat this map? Um, besides waiting three hours to just build a massive army? Yeah, it would be interesting to hear. Gilgamesh, if you if you have uh, a tip, <laughs> like I I can just wait three hours. At the moment, AI will outgold you. No, no, they they've mined all their gold. At this point in the game, they've they've actually mined out. You watch Let's Plays where no bugs went through on the same line? I know, right? It's so cool that other people don't have bugs. Isn't it? Isn't that so nice? You know, I load up Dune Spice Wars, infinite sandworm bug. No one's ever seen it before. <laughs> I get it though. First time I play the game, there it is. <laughs> infinite sandworm, <laughs> right there. Load up Crusader Kings. Hey, let's begin recording. Crash the game. What happened? I found a bug that no one else has ever found before. I just pressed the key and it, it crashed the main menu. <laughs> oh, 
Rush yellow at the beginning, ASAP, and also build a mint. Yeah, I mean, I, I know there's that those speedrun strats. Basically, I, I call them speedrun strats, but that's basically it. Um, I don't know what it is about me. I always find the bugs. Every time. Every bug. I found them all. Doesn't happen in other people's playthroughs. Just, just mine. Playing such a niche game like Crusader Kings 3. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Like, I, I should be a QA tester. I, I always find all the bugs. Uh, yeah, you, you can leave tips on the Discord as well. So, yeah, I mean, that there's the... Oh, you start with 15 gold, build a mint immediately, train up some soldiers, and rush yellow. Uh, basically, every map could do that, right? But it, it's just... I hate that equally. <laughs> Because it feels like you're doing everything in your power to not play the game. Like, right now, like, when it's the attacking and doing stuff like that, that's actually kind of fun and stuff. And you can see yellow is not recovering military strength because they don't have any more gold. Um, so, like, see, eventually I'll win. Eventually I'll climb up and, and have enough to beat them. It's just... For some reason, the way the maps are designed, you have to have like a three hour do nothing portion where you just you just let your soldiers build up. Right. It's a choice between cheese or patience. Yeah, exactly. Rush them quickly, kill them before they do anything, or wait three hours of doing nothing. Build a watchtower, disconnect the road, amass troops in the store, and later man all six troops. I mean, yeah, there's that. You tried patience many times since this map and failed. Well, I mean, like, you can look at their gold. Like, red's still getting some. But I now have more gold than yellow. Yellow has not gained a single bit of gold in an hour. Probably longer. And we can set it to four hours? Yeah. See, yellow, yellow mined out two hours ago. Red's still mining. But red's military strength plateaued as well. And also, I just have to kind of... Where am I? Where's this map? So this is this is water here. So it's gonna force me directly into red. If I head all the way west to the western shore and just go down to about here, then there's nothing and the gate. So I think I don't have to fight red. I just have to carve to the western shore through yellow and then carve down to here and then build like barracks, barracks, barracks and then we win. Right? Because red doesn't seem to be here. I think red is like here or something. Like red's there. So I think maybe red's like here. But they're not down to the bottom coast. You can see here. Yeah, they're like here or something. They're not here. That's a desert flower, right? Yeah, that's not red. Will you not run out of gold too before you get to the red player's military power? Well, the idea is hopefully we just don't fight red. I mean, we haven't checked the other side of this mountain. Haven't really checked the other side of this mountain, so there's probably more gold.
we can connect both islands via boats. They're close enough. Oh yeah, but we had to break that because um, things just weren't moving. See, the gold coins from these mints were being put in the storehouse, and then from this storehouse it was being sent to this harbor. And then from this harbor it was being sent back into this storehouse, sometimes into this harbor. And then from there it went, it just sat there forever. So we had to break this so that the gold coins would move. So yeah, you could connect, you, you can, you, you can connect this, but then zero gold coins will ever go to these fortresses. Don't ask me why. <laughs> anyway, I think I will stop this recording right here. Uh, maybe come back after we wait three hours. I return! Welcome back. Now I said I was gonna wait three hours. Uh, it only took one. It only took one hour of doing nothing to get to this point, which I think is pretty good. So what I've done, basically, a few things I tweaked um, in terms of distribution of goods on coal. I put these up to even so that uh, we got an even amount between weapons uh, armor and gold. I started clearing off stuff here and here so that I can potentially build a catapult here and just whittle down the enemy. Uh, in terms of, let's do CS, what? Uh, L, and also bring up general statistics. Uh, the enemy, yellow, did attack me at some point and they just lost stuff, um, so that's good. Uh, so they lost a little bit of military strength. Uh, and as far as I can tell, yeah, they're not recovering because they don't have any more iron or coal or something. Now, during all of that, I built a storehouse right here and dumped all the gold coins into here. And then I built a fortress right here so that I can just fill it up and immediately start putting gold coins into here. Because as soon as I build this fortress, what happens is they're going to start attacking and they will attack this fortress, right? So... That's what they always do. So if we can just start training these up to generals straight away, we might be able to just have them attack and wipe out more of their soldiers. Uh, in terms of the military tab, I'm going to set defenders to maximum. And now I press a V to speed up the game. Here come the attackers, right? As soon as I build this fortress, it's under attack. So it's very important to get um, the gold coins in immediately, right? So at least they're a little bit upgraded. We might lose a couple soldiers, but they should lose more. Uh, this does mess with the training somewhat as well. You know, they, they, these guys are at least double upgraded. I can't quite tell if these attackers are unupgraded, but yeah, you can see it starts messing with the the training a little bit, but we should have enough gold coins to max this fortress out uh, with generals. Okay, we won that. Good. Uh, they might attack more, but I'm not sure. Do we have... We, we do also have eight soldiers in reserve back here. So that's good. Um, so I'm clearing this out because ideally the plan is to attack up this northern line all the way to the western coast and then go down from here to our target to try and avoid red as much as possible. But considering red and yellow combined is double my military strength, I do have to whittle down yellow as much as possible first. Uh, so at least they can't be reinforcing the front lines anymore. So that as I start carving through the top, they can't reinforce, like these empty buildings here, they shouldn't be able to reinforce it. And I can just like attack here, wipe out that catapult, and then just go westwards from there. Right? That's the idea. Um, more attackers incoming. But I think we should, yeah, we've got generals now. So, hopefully, we don't lose any more soldiers here. Yeah, that, someone said wooden shield is the lowest rank, so that's a wooden shield there. So, these are generals versus lowest rank. If I lose a general to one of these guys, it's expected. It's expected. Of course I would. <laughs> but it would be nice if I didn't. 
But yeah, you see the, the training is a bit messed up because of the people bouncing in and out. But okay, so as this quarry here clears off a few more stones, I'll be able to put one catapult there and that will be able to start shelling this structure here. Now, a problem I've had before, I had two catapults here and two catapults here. So anytime they expanded forward, the two catapults immediately destroyed the building, which is bad. What you want is one catapult to like just kill one guy and then a reinforcement comes, then they kill another guy, then a reinforcement comes, then they kill another guy, then a reinforcement comes, kill another guy. And that's how you whittle down the enemy soldiers, right? Here you can see as this fortress generals up, our military strength is going to rise to match where yellow is right now. And as yellow throws away some of the lowest rank soldiers, that'll work as well. But also, because I got this, I can now connect this road up. I forgot to do that. So we have this nice shortcut now. Yeah, we should be almost all generals. Yeah, just one more coin, one more promotion. And these other fortresses also have, like, some surplus coins in them. So they can train up really quickly as well. Ah, <sighs> okay. Did we lose a soldier? No, no. The general went into the storehouse? Why did the general go into the storehouse? We just have a general in the storehouse. He, he didn't want to go back to the fortress. He went into the storehouse. Is a replacement soldier coming or something? Or do we just now have a fortress with eight soldiers in it? I've never seen that before. Well, that's a bug. Hey, guys, I found another bug. Because <laughs> no replacement soldier is coming. This fortress just has eight soldiers in it. Unless a soldier is coming from somewhere else? No? No. Okay. Add one more bug to the pile. <laughs> so, I basically spent an hour doing nothing except for ba basically like shutting down dead mines you know, connecting up these other mines, you know, slowly producing gold coins and soldiers, and then I just stored all the gold coins here to allow the fortress to level up and fill up very quickly, right? That That's basically, I spent an hour just sitting around waiting for that to produce, right? So now I can sit here. By building this fortress, for some reason, building this fortress encourages them to attack, uh, so sure. Now they, they wouldn't attack any of these, but I built that and you, you can see they're just streaming their units into me now. Which is great because that weakens them and I'm not losing any soldiers. That's so strange. Okay, well I guess when one... When we start moving forward that general should pop out, I guess. Hopefully. Uh, also I'm building this quarry here to clear this up. I think I need to build a storehouse here. So building storehouses are very important because as you attack, soldiers can get lost unless there's a storehouse nearby. So you have to keep building storehouses as you advance to make sure you don't lose your soldiers to getting lost, which is very bad. Ugh. Uh, okay, so there we go. Mining this stone up. If we clear off these two, I think I should be able to build a catapult right there and then we can start shelling. They're going to keep attacking here. So this is fine. This is good. You can see this is the, the, our military strength right now. I probably don't have much more, many more gold coins. Uh, we do have 13 privates in storage. Uh, gold coins, we're probably not... Yeah, we, we just don't have enough coal coming in. Um... Perhaps, now that we're here, I can maybe do this and maybe this will work now. But it's not as urgent. If, it's if things stop working, they'll be okay. Oh, they're attacking from up here as well. 
They're sending soldiers from here. So these are all low level. So according to the gold amount, yellow still has more gold than I do, but I don't know why all their soldiers that are attacking are mostly unupgraded. This guy's a little upgraded, but he dies to a general. This guy's unupgraded, so I don't know why their attackers are not upgraded. I don't know where all their generals are. And as far as I understand, as long as soldiers step back into the fortress, they regain all their health. So this little streaming of soldiers is perfect. Exactly what we need. Ooh, I can build a catapult right here. That's pretty far forward. Let's build a catapult right there. This quarry should have been dumping stone into this storehouse as well. Uh, the road system's a bit weird, but okay. We build a catapult right there and we can start pushing this back. Clearing these stones also means we can, if we choose to, build roads through here. But preferably I don't want to be attacking and conquering things down here because red can attack this stuff. Red is like here. So anytime you conquer any of this stuff, red just pops up and starts grabbing things. And we don't really want to tangle with red, if at all possible. Uh, but what, what I can do is, if like a little bit of slow advancement here with catapults and them attacking us, we can burn that as well. Um, and we can whittle down... Oh, the storehouse could be actually a bit further. Let's burn that. Yeah, let's not have the storehouse there. Oh, I probably can't do it there. Let's build the storehouse here. A little bit further forward. Uh, yeah, if we can whittle down yellow without losing units, then at least we could fight red, right? At least we can fight red. We don't have to carve through red. You can see yellow goes up to the western coast, but red doesn't. So if I conquer down to here, I just have to build and expand down to here. And red might be able to attack us, but hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, so I've connected this up. Yeah, there's something broken about this. See, gold ore is coming down to this harbor. That's so strange. Um... Let's try expel gold ore from here. Let's expel everything from this harbor, and I'm gonna burn the harbor. What's that? Builders. What happens if you expel a builder? Oh, they just wander around with nowhere to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone else of use? A fisher? Um, okay, I can try save that fisher by just building a fishery here. Right? Any other useful people? No. So I'm just gonna expel all of these resources out of this harbor, and I'm gonna burn that harbor, and then nothing can be sent down this way. Only these resources will be going up. And that makes more sense. Burning that harbor might work. Yellow has been trickling their units in, looking good. So we're about as powerful as yellow right now. Just a, just a hair is off. Yeah, storehouse could have gone there, but I think this is fine. Yeah. I could perhaps build a catapult here. Let's build a catapult there, and then see if that's in range of that building. It might be. I really wish you could just see the range of things. Oh, they're gonna build something here as well. Okay. So this catapult's being built. We can start shelling here. Imagine just sending an expedition to that gate. What's really annoying about this gate 
is that we have these ships sailing everywhere, you know, setting things up and everything. We're down here on this island. The gate is there. That's where we're going. But there's no way for us to just sail from here to here. That's so annoying. I wish they just put the gate like here. Right? It'd be less annoying. We still have to do the exact same work. We won't... The only reason why it's here is to allow us to see it. Right? So that we know that it's there. But so many missions before this, they, they just hid it. It didn't matter. Right? Earth is flat. It's a trap. It's not flat. You can't actually go around. See? It, it just loops around. It goes the other way as well. So these are spherical planets that we're on. But... <laughs> Okay, this catapult is down. Some stone should be sent. Oh, that's an upgraded guy coming over. That's not a... F These are... Oh, so now we're starting to get upgraded attackers. But I don't... They're not gold, so I don't think they're general level. So we should mostly win this, but... donut planet is it technically a like if it behaves like this is this technically a donut planet we we could lose generals yeah we just lost the general there that's so annoying like my rng oh that general pops out that's good to see so we won this fight at least so we lost one general but they lost two upgraded dudes and that got the general out of this storehouse which should also mean we now get no doesn't work this fortress is now max 8 soldiers. That's just how it is now. I don't know what's gone wrong. Oh, this catapult's being loaded though. Yes! Take the shot. If you can go around both east and west, north and south, this is a donut planet. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, for it to behave like this, it's actually donut planets. Ah... Donut planets you have in Civilization. I thought Civilization was just left to right. You couldn't cycle top to bottom. Civilization are like... How do you... It's, it's, it's like a strip, but just that way. Civil... Civ is a... A cylinder. Yeah, yeah it's a... It's a cil yeah, it's a cylinder planet. <laughs> So civilization is cylinder planet. This is donut. Okay. <laughs> oh, they did build a military structure there. I don't know if that's going to expand and destroy my catapult and my storehouse. I don't know. It might. But this is in range of that catapult, so it's a win-win. But I'm not sure if that storehouse is going to survive. Alright, so the longer we just sit here now, the weaker yellow gets. I don't know why stone is not being sent here. This storehouse is full of stone. Right? There's things like this which I don't understand. This storehouse is full of stone. This catapult needs stone. Why is stone not being sent from this storehouse to this catapult? I just... I just don't understand, like, why it doesn't. Like, I assume it's sending stone from some far away location, but why would it do that? Like, see, this catapult needs stone. This storehouse has stone. We're actually quarrying the stone right here. That catapult's full of stone. Why? Break the road and connect it again. Dig up road. Connect that road. Maybe if I dig up that road. And connect here and there. If I dig up that road and connect there, then I can connect that to there. No. Stone stone is not being sent out, as far as I can tell. Is that no that stone is Where's that stone going? Oh, so we destroyed that. Easy. 
We didn't lose this. This catapult's being loaded. I don't know. That is in range. Yes. So we can now start whittling down them. Bam. One dead person. And then it gets reinforced. And then we just keep slowly killing. In terms of this catapult, I don't know. Will this general survive? Maybe. No. So we lost another general. But they are losing quite a lot. Would be losing less if this catapult had stone. Is there such a thing as stone priority? Thing is, um, well, yeah, let's put stone as the maximum priority. Like, maybe stone is being sent to this catapult from some far away location. Like, maybe one of these stones being expelled by this harbor building. But then, why? Like, these catapults are being loaded okay. See, this catapult's getting reloaded right now. Come on, take another shot. Take the shot. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Miss! Okay. Interestingly, that is not being reinforced. So I think they're out of soldiers for reinforcements. This catapult. See, I went through all the trouble of building the catapult. And it's just no stone wants to go in it. 20 stones sitting in the storehouse. Stone being quarried right here. Like... Is this harbor building empty? There's 59 stone in there. If I burn the harbor building, I would lose... Yeah, I just dumped the fisherman in that fishery that's doing nothing, but... I would lose the stone if I burned this harbor building. Oh, I see a stone going left. Maybe that's the stone. Maybe this is it. They're building something there. I don't think that's a military building. I think we did successfully hit a shot there. Okay, this stone, come on, go into that catapult. Because, yeah, it, it should, yes. This fortress, oh, we ran out of gold coins as well, yeah. We got plenty of gold, but not enough coal. Oh! One did get loaded in. You missed, but... Another one? Yes! Okay. So for some reason, all of the stone for this catapult was coming from this harbor. Come on, hit. Bam. Nice. And we burned that one as well? Perfect. Yeah, these buildings are no longer reinforcing, which means every soldier we kill now, they basically can't really retaliate. Kablam. Because they can't attack anymore. Okay. We've cleared the way. Killing that, um... I don't know if... Like, if I capture this, the borders won't touch. So what I do need to do is, like, throw a guardhouse right here. I don't think they can attack anymore. Building a guardhouse there should expand the border. Then I can just capture this and then start... checkerboard jumping over this way. That's how we're going to do it. In before it goes to the storehouse. If the stone came all the way here and just put into the storehouse, I would be so mad. <laughs> I'd be so mad. 
<sighs> so the problem is, yeah, gold ore was coming down this way as well, right? For, for like no reason, gold ore was being dumped down this way. So it seems like all the coal has gone to the iron smelters. So there, there's no way to distribution of goods. No, I'm gonna reprioritize the mint because we're not getting any gold coins right now. We've got plenty of gold. Just not enough coal. House unoccupied. Is this? Yeah, this one's done. Okay, let's burn that. So the the miner can go into coal mine or something. They might go into the iron mine annoyingly. Let's dig up that road. So they do go into the coal mine. Right? Come on, pop back out. Go occupy a coal mine. Oh, this iron mine is done. Uh, yeah, let's burn this iron mine. Then I can connect that iron mine again. And then I can build this iron mine. So a lot of the hour was just sort of like that. Oh, this mine's out, let's move the mine. Oh, this mine's out, let's move the mine. Gold mine, that's depleted. Gold mine, that's depleted. So that gets me two miners back. So this coal mine can activate. We have like 106, 106 gold sat in this harbor. We, we, we've mined all the gold we need. Like so much gold. So in terms of soldiers, we should have... Yeah, we've got plenty of soldiers. Now we just need the gold coins coming back in. So all the coal should now be... Yeah, the mints are full of gold. The coal should now prioritize into the mints. Let's connect that up. And we can actually connect that. No, that's actually terrible. Can I connect this? Yeah, that's a little shortcut. So these coal mines... Yeah, these coal mines should activate. So all the coal should go into the mints. Yeah, mines dig a radius of two. So that then it's not... I mean, it's a little bit overlapping, but like there's... An iron source there and an iron source there. So, like, however you build it, it's not going to be 100% efficient, right? There's going to be some overlap. So, yeah, it looks like, yeah, this is going to now fill up. Great. I do not think they will attack. They might. These are all low level. If I build a catapult here, I don't know if it's in range of the lower one, but if it's in range of two buildings, that would actually help a lot. Because like, if this can shoot that, and then we can use this catapult to clear off both of these, that would actually help. Now I assume gold coins are being produced again. Yep, there's a gold coin. So gold coins are going to start flowing back through here. This storehouse can accept gold coins. Yeah, that storehouse can accept everything. Yeah, this is good. Is this harbor emptied out? Well, as long as everything works, I don't think we have to empty out this harbor. We're just trying to shift this one boatman is carrying thousands of tons of goods. <laughs> Gold, coal. Have we actually we haven't even emptied out the stone yet? I mean there's a pile of coal here, but it's not gonna get through because we're just moving all the stone. But if I don't move the stone, then the catapults won't 
fill up. Oh, they attacked back. Okay, that's fine. Now we can just shoot that. That did burn my storehouse annoyingly. It was empty, but... That's annoying. See, th this is the most frustrating thing about the settlers. You know, if you want to attack, you make yourself vulnerable. So you see, like, the most powerful thing when it came to destroying the enemy military was to literally do nothing. Just let them attack you, because attacking is bad. You are punished for attacking. Let's let the fires burn out. Now that fortress is just eight soldiers, sure. <laughs> sure thing. It's like, if I attack now, they, they are still counter-attacking. There are soldiers in there, so I, I want to do this. So like, attacking now may be somewhat safe. But, see, I don't want to take this building, because red can attack it, right? So if I take this building, I'll be fighting yellow and red. And I'll be generally pretty bad. So I want to try and stay up here. But if I take that, it won't be connected by road. You know, that would be a problem. Well, gold coins are reaching this storehouse, so that's good. Yeah, that fortress, gold coins... Yeah, there's surplus gold coins in all the fortresses. Okay. Let's rebuild that storehouse. So what's the correct way forward here? I can't really cheese with... Are they building a watchtower then? Well, that's good. If this watchtower fills up, I don't think it'll destroy that catapult and then we'll be in range. The only annoying thing is when a military building is just built, it only sends one... Oh no, it might send multiple soldiers. It only sends one soldier if it's by boat. By ship. What about Scorched Earth Tactics? Take it and delete it? That would just really slow me down. Because the idea is I take, I take, I take, I take. Otherwise I have to build. All the way here, all the way here. And taking fills it up with generals. Which is ideal. Okay, let's let this reinforce. Unless they straight up do not have any more military units to spare. See, even when it comes to cheesing, it's actually hard to do. <laughs> like, if I attack this, I think they still have enough soldiers to, like, retaliate. And I'd lose a lot of generals taking a building. This has two flags, this has two flags. Yeah, no soldiers are going into here. That has two flags. Okay, so they don't have that many. I'll let this storehouse be built, then maybe I can progress. Have we cleared out the stone yet? No. I guess I can stop expelling the stone. I think it's fine. Okay. Okay. This this is such a frustrating mission. Like it'd be easy to attack through here, 
in terms of yellow, but then red is just going to start charging up. And see how powerful red still is? Fighting yellow and red at full force, I would, I would lose. Yeah, gold ore going right, gold coins going left. That's what I like to see. Okay, I think I can deprioritize stone. Move coal first. Yeah. Okay, storehouse is coming back up. Just have to wait for yellow to collapse against red. Well, yellow won't collapse against red, they're allies. Like, at this point, nothing will happen, because yellow cannot attack me anymore. They don't have soldiers. See, they built a military building there, no one's going in it. They built a military building there, no one's going in it. They don't even have enough soldiers to fill in the military structures. Right? That, if it was garrisoned, might actually destroy my catapult, but I think that's in range of that catapult, so... I'd love to be shelling them, but they're actually out of soldiers. You thought they were at war? No, 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 they're allies. Also, I think we are still technically... We're still technically allies with red until we attack. Oh, that's a soldier moving around. Where's it going? Suddenly there are soldiers. Where are these coming from? They didn't gain military strength. Maybe they burned a military structure up here? But this is good. It means these catapults can... Oh, they're attacking? Oh, they actually emptied out. Oh, they garrisoned that. Okay, and then we can kill that. Serves you right. And that emptied out here, which is great. These now all have one flag. Perfect! That attack depleted their military as much as possible. So now, I think they are incapable of attacking, because see, one flag means there's only one soldier in there. So now I can expand. Guardhouse. Let's go! I say with enthusiasm, and we have to wait five minutes to build that guardhouse. Oh... <laughs> uh. Any plans for a modded Skyrim playthrough? Well, I already have a modded Skyrim playthrough. If you want one more soldier, go into your fortress, set last setting in the military menu two notches lower than set it back. Um, oh, that. I don't know if I feel safe doing that. Because th things just kind of go wrong for me, so I, I don't know if I feel safe doing that. Uh, one soldier missing there doesn't matter too much. I don't know why some fortresses stock up on like three coins, but then like this fortress only has one surplus coin. Like I don't know why. what determines that. Where are these attackers coming from? Oh, maybe they found a new source of iron or something and actually produced some soldiers. Well, good that they're throwing their soldiers out this way. Because they did garrison that. That has two flags. Hmm. They might have found a new source of stuff, but... Them being encouraged to attack is weakening them further, so that's good. Yeah, that got reinforced. But then immediately sent out to attack, huh. I think what I do is once that guardhouse is built, I attack that. 
Well, once that guardhouse is garrisoned, I attack that. Red is dying. Wait, what? What's... Why is... Why is red dying? <laughs> What's going on? Let me refresh this window. No, not that one. They're allied with both of us. See, these flags mean alliances. Like, maybe suddenly... Oh, look at that! You can see the stones being thrown in the fog of war! <laughs> Yellow is accidentally killing red. <laughs> look at that! Secret information. <laughs> this is amazing! This is great! Look at that! You can just see catapult stones being thrown in the fog of war. They're not they're not hidden. <laughs> Does this happen to anyone else or is it just me? Look look how much they lost. They basically brought red down to my level. Okay, that's great. Okay. These guys are moving in now. So I think I'm going to make a save point right here. Uh, I will write that. And now I think I attack this with like three. Because I don't think there's a general in there. Wait, if I attack it with three, I think some will come out of this guardhouse. Let's attack it with four. It's so annoying. I selected strong attackers. Take the strong attackers. Wait, I said attack with four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so two generals will be coming. So there's an upgraded guy in there. So this should ensure that the two generals survive. Oh, no, this... I wish there was any kind of coordination. And of course, they counterattack immediately. I needed to send the attack before this guardhouse was. <sighs> so annoying! It's so annoying! And of course, this one guy managed to kill two privates and a general. If he kills this other general, I'm just reloading. But now, because they captured that, there's no way... <sighs> it's, it's so annoyingly frustrating. I just have to wait for... How do I ensure... If I go to military, if I go to most defenders, fewest attackers... Does this stop... Soldiers coming, like, no attack possible. Okay, so if I go to military, go like one notch on attackers, and I set to attack four, what happens? So now four generals go. Because I set fewer attackers. So, number of attackers determines quality of attackers more than anything else. Oh, did we get a gold coin in here? No, no, that's guy. Okay. Okay. Fine. 
This guy's gonna murder my entire army by himself. Because that's just what happens. So take that. Please, please win. Please, please, just don't. We're gonna lose, aren't we? What is even the correct way of doing this? Well, it seems like they're not able to retaliate. Send generals here. Uh, I'd have to... Un... I'd have to basically empty out all of my fortresses to do that. Build a watchtower, not a guardhouse? Can't. Not there. That's a small house. We could build a watchtower here, I guess. If I look back here, back to where things were. Like, we could build a watchtower here, maybe? No. No, so you can't build a watchtower. Has to be a guardhouse. That's the best. Let's see. If I go to military, we go to fewer attackers. Let's go down to here. So I need to somehow intercept. So I think the attackers come from this here. So what I do is I do this. Attack with three. And then send one attacker there. None came out of the guardhouse. So I'm sending one general down here. Oh, now they're... Where is that attacker coming from? Now they're not attacking with... I'm confused which general is going where. I sent three here, one here. There's currently two down here, but this guy's going further... Oh, that guy is going up there, but he got intercepted down here. Where's the upgraded guy that came to attack the guardhouse earlier? Where is the upgraded guy that came to attack us earlier? Where is he? <laughs> He's not in that watchtower? But that's the only building with... He's in this guardhouse. But oh, wait, no. That guy was always there. What? So we take this guardhouse. Build road. Connect it up. This is my guardhouse now. There's three generals in that guardhouse. Did we build burn a storehouse? We might have. I'm not sure. So this guy will definitely die. I don't want to keep this. If we happen to kill more soldiers, great. Let's try send scouts there. There's quite a lot of upgraded guys here. Which is a little scary. We're under attack a bit. I think one... Yeah, one gold coin did get here. More's on the way. So they're attacking quite a bit. They don't attack this guardhouse. Maybe they're coming? I don't know. Oh yeah, here they come. So they... There's just no way to hold on to that, huh? Unless I just really wait for generals to show up, huh? Because if I look at their military stuff, I mean, yeah, it's still quite a bit. 
This might hold on, because this is three generals, right? Yeah. But then suddenly this is full. And I don't understand why that was not full before. Like, where did these soldiers come from? And of course, this one guy kills two generals. Whoa, 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 this general's still here! That, that's the kind of thing that annoys me. We didn't even lose all our defenders. <laughs> Look, the general is right there! He just let them take it. And he's lost in the mountains. You sorry, but this is stupid? Yes. Can you try a catapult? We've been trying catapults for years. <laughs> Please, this is mission eight. I know catapults. We've been trying catapults. That, how does that, like, wh how, does, how is catapults gonna stop that from happening? Also, this tower had one soldier in it before, right? This, sol this tower here has one soldier in it right now, but as soon as I attacked, they suddenly filled this with six soldiers? Where did they come from? Why aren't they filling up earlier? I'm, I'm confused. Like, look at this. They managed to just fill this immediately with some reserves from somewhere. But why isn't this filling up? And look, th there's, there's like buildings literally ungarrisonable because they don't have enough soldiers. But then as soon as I attack, soldiers come pouring out. Maybe it's reserves and they reduce the reserves in their HQ? That's the only explanation I can think of. Because suddenly they had massive armies here, massive armies here, but they don't lower the reserves in HQ if there's like empty buildings. But now, now they're all garrisoning up here. But see, they've lost soldiers. They, they've not gained soldiers, they've lost soldiers, and suddenly they seem to have more soldiers than ever before. See, there's, there's just soldiers marching up from somewhere. And I, I don't understand. So, okay. Let's try something. Let, let's try Blitzkrieg. And see what happens. I just want to know what will happen. Right? So let's send... So I can't attack that. So this will take out of that guardhouse. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So I'm attacking this, this, this. So I sent quite a lot to this tower. Now back here, the worst fortress still has two generals, so that should be good. This guardhouse got one gold coin, so it upgraded a little bit. We're, we're just going to lose that guardhouse, right? Th there's just no way to maintain that. Let's fill this watchtower with generals. Six generals in this watchtower. Defending that should kill the rest of their army. Right, so I take this. All right, and I can't build back because of that. Let's build. I can build a watchtower there. Let's just do that. So this watchtower is just gonna sit here and try and kill Yellow's army. But Red might show up here. 
There's one general in there. I'll just connect these two together, I guess. So, defending this watchtower where I can pop in and out should allow me to... Have they already wiped out... Oh no, two generals. Two generals. They killed two generals. And, but you see reds coming up now. This alliance panel doesn't update until I reopen it. You see red is now at war with me. This general just lost, I guess. Go back into the watchtower? No? This, I think this general just dies, right? This general just dies now. Because he's lost. He's just gonna wander around until he dies. We just lose a general for no reason. Right? This, this is why this game is so hard. See this general? He's, he's just gone. Lost. No reason. He wasn't defeated in battle. He just refused to get back in the watchtower. He's gone. There's a storehouse right there, so it's not that far from the watchtower, but no, he's, he's just lost. <laughs> With luck, maybe maybe he will he will come back. I don't know. Maybe? Where's he going? Is he actually walking back now? Okay, we lost that. That's fine. Oh, maybe maybe he won't. He'll he'll go home. Meanwhile, we could lose the watchtower. We could really use another general in this watchtower. That would be handy, right? That'd be nice to have. One whole general? That'd be good to have, right? No. No, he just wanted to go home. How is this guardhouse empty? See? Tell me how this happens. Zero soldiers. Zero soldiers. <laughs> How does it even happen? <laughs> Zero soldiers. It's, they just they're just gone. Mutual kill. I don't think mutual kills can happen because attacks take turns, right? You know, you don't they don't attack each other at the same time. It's huh, 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 like that, right? So this is wiping out yellow quite nicely, right? So so this is good. This is good. I think they're out of any mineables. So any um, yellow soldier killed is a yellow soldier gone forever. That's good. This red guy, he's maybe going to wipe us out. But at least we, we've notched down red quite a bit as well. So considering the losses here, was that a mutual kill? Because I lost and he disappeared as well. Was that mutual kill? But now that there's no one in here, this godhouse can't be attacked, right? Right? You can't attack an empty building. The general went back inside. I thought I had three generals. Yeah, yeah, I had three. Oh no, he was killed by the second defender. Okay, but a general popped that kill and went back inside. Okay. But yeah, this guardhouse can't be attacked. Or can it? Can you attack an empty guardhouse? You can. How come they can attack empty guardhouses? They can attack empty guardhouses? I can't attack empty guardhouses. Okay, but yellow should be pretty wrecked. R even red seems a little... Okay, so let's try and move forward from here. So there's this watchtower right here. If I attack this with seven... Where did the seven come from? 
Oh, one came from here? Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's dumb. Um. Okay, there's a guy attacking here, so I just have to attack with seven. Once this red connects, attack with seven. There we go. So the seven comes from all of them from this fortress, which none are upgraded. Of course, of course. Why not take any of these generals? Hmm? How about any of these generals? No, no. Any of those generals? No, no, no. We gotta send all these privates. Let's, let's try figure out the bars that will make things do what we want. Hmm? Okay, so maybe if I do... Uh, what? Okay. Fewer defenders, fewer attackers. If I go fewer attackers... And then, then it's no attack possible, right? Of course. Um, let's go more attackers. More attackers. Does this not update if I... Okay, so if I do seven here, who, who comes? Four come. Wait, no. Where are these soldiers from? Oh, no. Those are going to the watch shop. What? So I can just say seven and not seven goes? Okay. <laughs> so that doesn't work. <laughs> um, what if I burn this fortress? Just burn the whole fortress. Then generals will go. Okay. We have to burn the fortress of privates. Bring the charts back up. Let's take this watchtower. Did I try pressing the correct buttons? The correct buttons was burning my own fortress to force these soldiers to attack. That's just how it be sometimes. I have 14 gold coins here. Okay, so now I own this. I don't see catapults around. Five soldiers in there. You, you don't want to garrison the, the watchtower you just conquered? No? No, you, you're just gonna go home? Okay. So there's five generals in there, which should not as should not be attackable by red. Camera, be where you're supposed to be. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, if this is only attackable by yellow, it should be... Yeah, red is attacking here. Oh, they're showing up with general, so red will take that. Okay, so we're almost at the coast here. 
So this watchtower is down. So yeah, red takes that. And then... I'd want to attack that. Oh, of course, these generals would attack that. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> of course, these would attack that. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Like, just trying... Like, what? Did they not consider... Click fortress. Attack from this fortress to that building. W would that... Is, is that a ridiculous idea or... Or what? Like, is, is that nonsensical? Like, does that not make sense? Well, I actually can't bridge through here. So I need to put a storehouse. Otherwise our sol no, no. Otherwise our soldiers will get lost. No, you can't road there? Okay, road there. So we gotta build a storehouse there. So now I'm just using these soldiers. So yellow should basically not have anything left. Like if I if it was just yellow, I'd blitzkrieg through. But unfortunately, red is a problem. That wouldn't be German engineering. <laughs> I thought Germans were supposed to be good at engineering. Like, I have all these generals sat back here. It's just so difficult to figure out how to push them forward. So where should I attack next? So I do need to hook this up. Oh, red can attack here. Okay, so if red can basically just keep attacking me here. Maybe a straight line is actually... Hmm. Maybe I do carve my way through red. Let, let's, let's try that. I'll just reload. Because this approach is feeling weird. Let's try this. Attack there. Attack there. Attack there. Oh, right, I need... Mm, my fortress. Sorry, I forgot to burn my own fortress first. Because the correct move is to do this. Attack there. Attack there. Attack there. Then there's that catapult, which is a bit of a problem. And if that's a, if we're doing this direction, we do not want this watchtower. Let's delete that. Get more generals up the front line here. Red took that, which means we can re-attack it. We take this.
We gotta attack this to burn that catapult. Okay, okay. Oh, this is actually the bottom coast. Okay. What happened here? I captured it, but then something died. This is good, though. <laughs> finally, finally in this mission, we get to burning. That's what I'm talking about. Catapult still got a kill before going down. Oh, that's what happened up here. Okay, fine. So this should actually start emptying out my fortresses because we're pushing the borders back. So I can now go to military and drop center of country to zero. Which empties out... ...generals and stuff from these fortresses. Which will allow generals to be pushed forward here. Red is gonna be, like, attacking here and there. That watchtower is not filled with generals, which is unfortunate. Yeah, Red's gonna start charging in here. I don't want to attack this HQ until Red is weakened. Because I think... Yeah, we're getting some good kills on Red here. I think yellow cannot attack anymore. Yeah, red sending up generals now. Let's try take that watchtower. Oh, maybe I should have waited for them to attack first. Why, is, why didn't you go back into the guardhouse? Come on. So, generals are flowing forward. They're gonna take that, which is annoying. Can I not have some generals survive this fight? <laughs> or is this one guy gonna wipe out my entire army? And my, oh no, my soldiers just want to go home. But then these guys fight here, huh? Why can't soldiers just do what they're supposed to do? Okay. Because my soldiers just went home. <laughs> so we, we basically lost some ground here. Uh, why do they go home like that? Why do they just walk home? See, like, the, see how much progress we made and how we just immediately lose it? 
Because soldiers just walked home? I should stop letting coins go into these fortresses. I have six generals sitting in my headquarters. Six generals. If I attack this... Maybe generals will come and replace them into these watchtowers? Because as far as I understand, higher level troops should be sent out first. Just burn the small guardhouses. Yeah, maybe that's the correct way of doing things. I was hoping the weak one went first in this case. Because then we could store six generals in here. Because you'd assume a general could kill this guy, but no. This, this guy has killed so many generals. What about gold levels? I actually have more gold than yellow now. Nice. So we've notched red down quite a bit as well. So if I, if I just keep going... Okay, let's fill this watchtower with generals. Oh, we actually didn't lose a soldier. Wait, no, we did lose a soldier. That guy's just going home. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I haven't been burning these is because of this. I can't I can't connect things up. Oh, is that going to be a watchtower there? Okay, so now the watchtower is empty. Why are the generals not going out? Why do we have these six generals sat in headquarters? Like it's got to be low-level soldiers being sent here? Oh, there's a catapult. Oh, I missed it. So I can't be doing that. Okay, so this is terrible. What I want to do is... That. <laughs> I didn't see the catapult and it doesn't make any noise, so... Oh, we're gonna lose this. Oh, we actually won this one. So I want to go to military. Empty out center of country. Take this. You take that. I burned this guardhouse, I think. What did we take? I, I took this watchtower. What was that? Oh, this watchtower. Right. I burned that watchtower. I forgot. I don't want that. I see generals and stuff flowing in. That's good to see. I need to take this. Now, this guardhouse is filled with low-level soldiers. I just want to send scouts out while we have this road. Okay, so let's hold these two watchtowers. I will burn this guardhouse before it falls. And then we can move. I think the catapult was near this watchtower, so I need to take that next. 
This watchtower is filled with low-level soldiers. That's annoying. And red's attacking up here. Why are no gold coins going into this watchtower? All the gold coins have to go into the watchtower with... Oh, there's a general in here? Okay. You know what? If it slowly levels up, that... No, no, no. See the problem. Dig up road. So they're gonna take this. Wasn't there a general in here? Oh, there he is. So they're definitely gonna take it. Burn it. You guys fight to the death. Did any of my scouts make it? Yes. Okay. Why isn't this watchtower filling up with soldiers? I have 17 generals in my headquarters. Why is this watchtower not filled? 17 generals. If I build a fortress here, it should fill with generals, right? Okay, let's just let the gold coins flow into these watchtowers and we'll train them up, I guess. Oh, in the Settlers 1, there was a military setting to select strong or weak soldiers to the watchtowers. Is there a similar setting to Settlers 2? No. It's odd, right, that the earlier game has it and the later game doesn't? What is this scout pattern? The scout did straight left and straight down. <laughs> okay. That does give us some view of their watchtower, which is good. Uh, I should also, while I'm here, build a storehouse. To stop our guys getting lost. Yeah, I don't think yellow can attack anymore. Okay, so we can see red is here. Yep. That was the landing point. Send all soldiers to the storehouse in front. I've tried doing that before and it just sort of didn't work. Let's try force generals out of the headquarters at least. And out of that one. Let's try put the generals into this storehouse. There's 10 gold coins. We only deliver one gold coin at a time, huh? Okay, so we scouted quite a bit. I think since we're now about equal to red's strength, at least as long as red doesn't attack us, we get a chance to uh, level up these soldiers, making us stronger in the long run. If we upgrade all of these soldiers... See, why is this watchtower still one soldier down? Is it the same problem with this fortress? <laughs> like, they're supposed to fit six soldiers, but nah, five. We'll build that fortress and hopefully it fills with generals. All the generals should be in this storehouse now. Yep, seven generals right there. Okay, this this feels like it's working out better. Uh, you can't really avoid red because for some reason red can... So red soldiers are here, right? When I tried to avoid red, I went and captured this watchtower here. Red 
can attack from here, so far away, it's off the screen to attack there. Like, I don't understand how red can, from here, attack here. It's bizarre, right? Like, how they can attack so far. Like, why can they do it? Why can't I? Oh, they're trying to push back here. That's gonna be annoying. That's gonna burn the storehouse. How do I stop that from happening? Let's make a save. Let's... Just take that. Then maybe burn it. And that might stop supplies reaching here. This might allow this watchtower to fill up again as well. stop this. So you can't attack an empty guardhouse. Where does yellow keep getting soldiers from? I mean, that watchtower up there is actually pretty filled. So we're getting generals to fill up this watchtower now. That's good to see. Bringing up some generals. Is that attacking? I think that's attacking. Where did that red soldier come from? Hmm. Where'd that yellow soldier go? Why am I struggling to... Oh, that yellow soldier was just walking off-road to go back into the HQ, I see. So, there's a soldier in their HQ, but I don't know why it's not filling up this guardhouse. It's so confusing to know what's going on here. So this watchtower is only holding five soldiers. Sure. This watchtower has actually almost fully upgraded. That's good to see. If I look at the storehouse, I have 15 generals in that storehouse. That'd be nice to have, right? This guardhouse filled up. Nice. 15 generals. Once this storehouse is down, I'll feel safe killing the HQ without losing my soldiers. Not sure if it's worth it really, but maybe I just take these two watchtowers instead. Because you don't have to kill the HQ. Can you attack out of the HQ? Can you attack out of the HQ? I actually don't know. Because for me to know that, they have to attack up to me. Is yellow just chilling now? I killed a bit. Uh, they just knocked down. Military strength, we are now equal with red. But you can attack from the HQ. Okay. So... The HQ is actually the best building to control your attack because you can control the reserves in terms of how many are coming out. You can actually tell the HQ to hold on to units. <laughs> oh, did this watchtower send the general over to help? That's nice of them. Yes, that's good. 
Is the storehouse down? Yes, the storehouse is down. Sure, stock up on gold coins. So these attacks from red... <sighs> My RNG... <laughs> They're not even generals! They're not even generals. Alright. Let's empty the generals out from here and they should head left. To bring all the generals to this storehouse. Oh, now, now suddenly this can reinforce. If I'm reloading, if this destroys my storehouse. Oh, my heart. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Where's the chill? Dear God, there isn't any. <laughs> okay, we are making progress. I would like to save the game without closing all my menus, but that's not an option. Yeah, I can take... Yeah, let's take that save slot. Okay, this fortress is down. Let's fill it with generals. It'll control the territory. Bam! Really? No push against that? Alright, general, 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 general. All of you, stack in there. All the generals. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Almost max generals. Only five will be in that watchtower. Sure. Look at that. Red attacked me. They lost nothing. I lost soldiers. Okay, so I just saved. So now what I want to do is push forward to these watchtowers, I think. Let's go. Six. Six. This should have surplus generals. So as soon as a soldier dies, it should reinforce. Of course, this watchtower full. Fortress, empty. Watchtower, empty. I might have to reload. Because if they just attack that fortress and take it, I'm... Ugh. Taking these two watchtowers will be a good hold here. And I think the catapult is here. The one I missed last time. Oh no, it's there. Damn it. You might get one shot off. Please miss. Of course it's not gonna. Bam, dead general. Please win. No, here comes red. I, I thought the catapult was there. My bad. I thought the catapult was there. It's not there. It's not there. Catapults there. Okay, so we have the fortress down. Maybe this is when I just straight up... Hold on. Let me bring up the military menu. So if I go to number of attackers, I drop it down to like this. Let the fortress fully fill up. And then if I try... Would four be enough? Let's send four generals versus their HQ. 
So they all came out of the fortress because that's, you know, that keeps things safe. If I kill this HQ, then at least I can start forgetting about yellow. I don't know if four generals is enough. Let's see what pops out. Just use catapults, man. No catapult cheese. Thing is, there's like one soldier in here. I'd build a catapult and kill like that soldier, that soldier, and that soldier. And that, this building will be gone. Right? If this was filled with soldiers, yeah. If they were reinforcing with soldiers, yeah. But I'd build a catapult, kill one soldier. Adva then I have to build a building to advance territory. Build a catapult, kill one soldier. Build like a, another, what, another fortress, another watchtower or something. Build a catapult, kill one soldier. Build a watchtower, build a catapult, then here, this is where I can build a catapult. Here. When I can start shooting this watchtower. But against yellow, I've already done the catapult cheese. Their buildings have one unit in them. It sounds like a plan. Alright, I'll see you in 14 hours. <laughs> Wouldn't the catapult be in range of their HQ? Can catapults shoot HQs? I'm not sure... Oh, humankind has a new beta? Hmm. How long have I been playing this mission? Quite a while. <laughs> huh. Catapult the HQ. Yeah, let's try that. I've never actually done that. So to do that... Is that in range? Maybe. Catapult the HQ. We can try. Send the scout there. Then maybe send the scout there. I I need to see that watchtower with the uh, with the catapult because I need to take that watchtower. Right? If I can't take that watchtower, then we're just going to lose generals to that catapult. The only problem is I can't attack what I can't see. It's in range, I just can't see it. So, how many generals do I have? Oh, I'm emptying it out here, right? How many generals do I have here? Six generals? So these are all generals, these are all generals, yeah. These fortresses can stop taking gold coins. On this run, I didn't burn this fortress. <laughs> okay. So this does feel like the best approach so far. Military. So I want to make sure I don't have so many attackers. So that way, that should reduce how empty things get. Do we still have planks? Oh yeah, we got 400 planks. So we got stone, okay. Did this eventually clear up? Oh yeah, it did. So I assume we've been producing zero soldiers because no coal will go to the iron smelters. I don't know, some did, a little bit. But almost all coal is going to the mints. Right, so... Yeah, 13 gold coins. So I think now I switch the distribution of coal back to... Armory. Right? Maxing those bars doesn't really help. Okay, so these two catapults should be in range of the HQ, and according to you, catapults work on HQs. Lookout tower? I don't think it will see much more, would it? This catapult might be in range of that watchtower as well. Which then at least frees up some room here. Okay, we 
just need these built. That catapult's being built. Nice. Need more planks. I feel like I should build a second road. Like here. That might help. It's a little bit of congestion here. There. And we can actually hook that up. Yeah, when I do that. Okay, sure. Okay, so that gets the, some through lines to here. There we go, the two catapults are now going up. Good, good, good. Bacon Elemental, the games I play uh, almost always appeal to you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. This game is frustrating though. Like somehow Yellow still has so many soldiers. This, this one is filled. But I think once these two catapults do their work, We'll be good to go. Now, in terms of getting stone over here, well, this boatman is actually sort of idling now. Nice. So, like, the coal coming out of this coal mine is actually now just... Why is coal coming down here? No, don't store coal here. Empty all the coal. Coal is being sent down here for no reason, into this harbor. Okay. I assume many of our mines are depleted. Yep. That coal mine's depleted. Depleted. I think we've actually run out of coal. Except for maybe here. I think I did... Like, I could go around to the other side of that mountain, but I have a feeling, looking at the military strengths, I have a feeling that with my 17 gold coins in stock, and we still got eight privates and an officer there. And how many generals are left in this storehouse? Six generals. Because this military strength here, I don't think it counts. Maybe it does. Soldiers that are in storehouses and stuff. Oh, this catapult's down. Good. Stone, I see being sent. Yes. This catapult being built. All right. So now stone actually took out of this storehouse. Good, good. So this is going to be the safe, nice way of nullifying yellow. Right, because this should wipe out all of these and maybe that tower and their HQ. Don't think we're in range of that. It'd be nice if we were. Oh, we're in range of that as well. So these two catapults should just wipe out everything. Here comes the first stone. How much stone do we have left? Quite a lot. Are you shooting that one? Okay. Bam. Nice. Uh, we haven't mined a little bit of stone here and there. We haven't mined that stone, which... It's actually kind of tricky to get to. Is that a landing point? Maybe that's... Uh, where would all my stone be? Yeah, there's 98 stone here. Okay, here comes a stone. So each shot hitting these guardhouses just wipes out the building because there's only one soldier in each. Oh, that's actually empty. 
So you can't attack an empty guardhouse. Which one are you going to shoot? This one? Bam. Okay, cool. This just... Okay, so let's see. Can you shoot the HQ? This catapult just got a stone. You guys are wrong. <laughs> You're wrong once again. Catapults cannot shoot HQs. Just use catapults. At least it wipes out some buildings. Maybe if this catapult can shoot that watchtower, it will help. So it's not for nothing. Shooting this one first, of course, it's closer. Bam. Nice. So this at least allows me to put a flag there and then maybe send a scout out to there. I just need to see that tile right there. Come on, scout from here, can scout that, do it. Do it. Scout. Scout there. Just that one tile. Okay. I just want you to scout right there. Yes. Keep heading left. Keep heading left. Keep heading left. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Right, right, right this one. Don't head down. Left, 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 left. Just over here. Just, just right. Just right, right there. Yes! Yes! We scouted it! <laughs> okay. And this is gonna wipe out that tower. Man, nice. Okay. So it cleared off some nice buildings there. And we managed to scout that. So catapults helped. Okay. Let's save the game. I think we can overwrite that one. Yeah, we've only progressed nicely from there. Okay, so now to move forward. Yeah, I think I take these two. Hmm. Wait, this cat's ball just shot red. I gotta let it do its thing for a while. Did you see that? See, red just lost a soldier. Yellow just shot at red. Well, I just saved. So actually, let me just try do... Let's not do that. Um, more attackers. Let's... Let me see what happens if I just attack with six generals down into there right into the heart of red while yellow is hurting red look at that there it is bam look at look at red losing soldiers isn't it fantastic that could be killing generals you know every stone could kill a general interception Because now that yellow's pretty much out of the picture. Yeah, they're building that. I have a feeling if I just throw all of my might into red, they'll be nullified and then I can just creep forward. This is a lot of land to cover though. That's a lot of soldiers to kill. They built so many military buildings all crammed together. 
Yeah, actually, this this won't work because I do need a road connection back to here. Yeah, okay, so... Let's see what happens. Can we win this? I mean, we should. It's four generals versus four non-generals, but their soldiers are just better than ours. You see that? It's like 4v4 and all... Those are not generals, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Those are not generals, right? They're not gold. They're silver. Right? I'm not wrong, right? Those aren't generals? So I'll wait for this to finish shooting. Are you shooting anymore? There it goes. Yes. Kill a red soldier. Bam. I was wondering for the longest time... Why? So I'm gonna take these two watchtowers. Uh, I might have to burn that as well. And then we should be able to send a road down this way. So I think I have to take this as well. But burn it immediately. You done? Need to have a few more attackers. Okay. Let's send... Actually... We need a lot of attackers here. Let's send... Yeah, we'll send seven... Let's send six. Okay. Let them start traveling first. We need to make sure we capture that. Let's send six here. And let's send two here. Red immediately counterattacks, of course. If that red soldier takes this fortress... <laughs> okay, no, no, okay. Intercepted. Surely they couldn't just waltz past all my soldiers. How did we take that so quickly and this one's taking so long? There were two soldiers there, one soldier here. This one was upgraded. Was this just nothing in there? And why are only two soldiers here? Where's our... Where have our soldiers gone? And we lost down here? What? Wait, I didn't... What? Where's the rest of our soldiers? Why are there only two in this watchtower? Okay, and I think I do have to burn this HQ. It's just in the way. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Let's do... Bring this up so I can control things. Okay. Let's just send eight generals into their HQ. We, we have to kill it. It's, it's blocking our way. I, I don't even know what happened there. Like, there's no way we lost four generals taking this. Alright. Let's get this HQ out of the way. Because taking these doesn't allow me to road through this. Our soldiers should not get lost with a storehouse right there. Come on.
the game, keeping track of attrition, one defender can kill four generals. Yeah, but these were four fresh generals. I sent six generals here. I think more likely the game bugged out and just didn't send the soldiers. Because that's happened more than often. Instead of sending six, it sent two. And we lost none. That's far more likely. <laughs> Is that not a general? Where'd this guy come from? Okay, there we go. Now, this storehouse can dispense the stored generals to replenish our forces. And you guys should find your way back. There's a storehouse right there. There we go. Now yellow should leave us alone forever. So now we focus on getting through red. Just checking any missing soldiers, any missing generals. I think there's that guy right there. Okay, good. Now if I take these two watchtowers, I should be able to road up. Let's set this to max attackers. And hopefully we don't lose anything in the process here. This storehouse doesn't have the other soldiers. Let's see, what's stored back here? Nine privates. Let's empty out the privates and these guys. Yeah, let's not... Let's empty out military soldiers out of the HQ. And out of here. Let's push all the soldiers to the front. And let's make sure that's actually happening. I could also burn... this fortress... to get a free general. Okay, and these soldiers should now all push leftwards. Yes. That's good. Oh, that general just found his way home? Interesting. Okay. There's a bunch of dead bodies. <laughs> so if we look at merchandise, yellow just lost basically everything. Right? That That's a good graph to see. Militaristically, yeah, the remaining soldiers are in their military buildings. But... They could technically still attack, but hopefully they just don't. Right, this looks good. So now, let's try do the thing. We send six to take this. Then we wait a while. And we're gonna send six to take this other one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then attack again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This fortress is now completely undefended, which is very annoying, but it's the only way to ensure that these generals actually go out. So now it takes forever to kill this guy. And these guys are just... Yeah, these guys are unupgraded. That's why this goes so quickly. Oh, there's only one guy in there? Oh, maybe I should have waited longer. Where's that guy going? He's just scouting. Okay. Oof. Okay. Let's row it up. Let's 
throw it up. I don't think we lost any soldiers. I think they are just lost. Yeah, there's one general walking back home. So now these fortresses and watchtowers... Let gold coins go into this fortress. Yeah. Okay, red is now going to start attacking us, which is our best bet to just let them attack us here. All of these soldiers are from this watchtower. They aren't attacking this. <gasps> we actually won one of these fights. Amazing. We won two of these fights. Three of these fights. It actually looks kind of even, but as far as I understand... Can someone confirm? Are these enemy generals? Because this feels balanced. This feels equal. But as far as I understand, generals are gold, right? This looks good. This is nice progress. Is this catapult in range of that watchtower? I'd assume no, because if it was, then it would have been shooting earlier, right? Like, red would have been hurting yellow. And I think for the first time ever, maybe we are the strongest player in the game! You think he'll shoot? No, because if it was in range earlier, red would have shot earlier. Right? This watchtower was here before. And yellow's catapult was here, shooting red, which is probably a building there. I think this is just out of range. Might not have had stone for a while. A lot of the stone is good. All the stone is going here, I think. Lucky so I think it's out of range. Why are there only four soldiers in this watchtower? Where's this guy? Where are these soldiers from? Oh, these watchtowers are still... got filled up first, I see. Why are gold coins coming to here before they're going into this fortress? I don't understand the prioritization. Okay, so we finally made it to here. And we can build a catapult. Send a scout. Is that a military building? Yeah, it's one of these. But I don't think it'll destroy that catapult. I think we're fine here. You're not buying it being out of range? Called you skeptical? I mean... If it's not... If it's in range, it's just not getting stone. Right, a bunch of stone was sent to that construction site. No stones being delivered here. So they're not out of stone. Finally, we get to see what Red's lands are like. And yeah, we are higher than Red on military. Yes, so maybe that's why they stopped attacking. Show me what it is you have. Okay, okay, good to see that watchtower. Interestingly, this watchtower is an X on the flag, but not fully garrisoned. Which means they have too many military buildings. They can't fully garrison them all. See, all of these are fully garrisoned, but that one is not. That's a lot of buildings, though.
How big is their kingdom? Hmm. So for once, we actually know where we're going exactly. We're not blindly wandering. That catapult could do a lot of damage. Oh, so is this ever going to garrison? Okay. If I wanted to Blitzkrieg from here, I would need to build a fortress. But I don't think we can fit one, no. Don't have enough territory. Hmm. Oh, we're actually getting stronger as well. Nice. Good to see. Good to see. I should just build a storehouse right here. Guarantee nothing gets lost. Plenty of planks or wood. Yeah, that iron mine's dead. Yeah, I think we're... I forgot. I actually sent a geologist here because I'm looking for a bit more coal. I think I've actually mined out all the gold. Right, if I can find a bit more coal, that would be good. Ah, catapults building. That's at least in range of this. I don't know if it's in range of anything else. I hope it's in range of like this, the, the two watchtowers. That could significantly wreck Red's military. If this catapult's in range of all of that, we'll be good to go. We'll probably kill that first. So yellow's board has actually come all the way down here. Basically, if I get red to where yellow is now, where they have soldiers, but they don't attack because they don't think they can win, um, then we can just cut through their land and reach the gate, right? That's the idea. Because then we, we don't have to worry about them taking our stuff back. So we know red is stretched thin. Oh, oh, they're attacking. Maybe they saw the catapult being built. But we have generals. We should be able to survive against three attackers. What about the mountain I stole from yellow? No, this is all mined out. I saw them mine it and then burn the, <laughs> the mine, so it's, it's done. So we killed one of them. Good RNG. Yeah, we killed two of them. Good RNG. Good RNG. For once. Give me the good RNG. No, it's just an okay RNG. Does it cost anything to send a prospector? Um, no, not really. I mean... I guess it's here, right? I guess I didn't see them maybe mine here. I'll send a prospector there. Come on, surely... Okay, yes. We lost one general. They lost three. So I sent the prospectors here. Now, there is a bit more coal, but... That's iron. I'd have to expand 
through this way for more coal. I don't know if I want to... I guess I should, right? You know there's coal there, okay. Yeah, we'll send the prospector up this mountain just to have a look. Oh, that's a lot of attackers. Screw you! We haven't even lost yet! Look! The three generals survived! Now I'd have to recapture the watchtower, rebuild the catapult. I have max defenders tactic. Is that what causes that? Because I think it's actually faster if I just reload. Because that, that would have been... Yeah, so it was here, right? Send the geologist up here. Let's do that. Okay, good. Call the geologist. Uh -huh. okay. Catapult cheese it. It's faster. What do you what? I'm I'm confused, Romanovsky. What did you think I was doing? If if you don't think I was catapult cheesing it, what what do you think I was doing? I I was the catapult just finished. Okay, even more. Don't even attack. I didn't attack. I, I'm, I'm confused as to what you think I was doing. I didn't attack. I just took these two buildings. Right? Like, if I use a catapult to destroy these two buildings, then... I would just not have buildings here. As soon as the fires burn out, I have to build a catapult. Um, so if I look at the military and go to, so I go to like, what, fewer defenders like this? So they don't all walk out of the watchtower, like... Have to build storehouse here. But that might still be faster finding these attacks and counterattacks quite frustrating. Thing is, if I use the catapult to destroy these watchtowers, I would then have to build a military building here and they would attack. I, I can't just build a catapult here. Like, I have to have a military building giving me territory control and then I can attack. Uh, then I can build a catapult, right? Oh, there is a tiny bit of coal right there. Might be some small remnants. Is there a similar cheat? Cheats don't work in this edition. <laughs> How did anyone play this game back in the day? It's so, it's so frustrating, right? Come on, rubble burnout. Okay, I think it's burning out. Come on, come on. Give me the build sites. There we 
go. Third one. Catapult. Well, let's try for a catapult there as well. Send scouts. So, eh, there's like tiny bits of coal up there. Sure. So there's a few remnants here and there. Oh, there's a bit more here. So we build a coal mine right there. Burn. Burn. That gets us two miners. Okay, so we found more coal. I'll keep things going. Distribution of goods. Yeah. Storehouse. Watchtower generals. Watchtower not generals, but coins coming. Okay. Let's save here. Yeah. I'll keep on this. Uh. <laughs> so I've set this to fewer defenders. So hopefully the watchtower, like the soldiers stay in the watchtower and don't, don't just give it up. Like I'm, I'm so confused as to why you want some of these bars. push stone leftwards. Wait, no, I, I shouldn't be messing with that. It'll take forever. Just let the stone come naturally. Did the prospect I sent show anything new? Um, well, there's like a bit of coal up there. There's that coal there. And I got a bit of coal more here. So that's three coal mines, not fully efficient, but that's enough coal to keep things going. Okay, so now I gotta wait for these catapults to build again, but as soon as they're completing, they start attacking. And we should be able to hold with six generals, you'd think, but... Depending on RNG, it really... you never know. Yeah, all the resources coming down looks good. Yeah. And just have alternate road here. So this barracks. Don't take gold coins, please. Yeah, there's more coal back here if I really need more. Yeah, yellow is basically dead. It seems like they're not attacking anymore. They do have soldiers that could attack, but they're not. Let's deprioritize the mint. We do need just more soldiers, I think. Is that a gold coin coming up this way? No, you're not. Take it back. Where's this gold coin going? Okay, good. So that means I can actually put a coal mine here. Actually, have a look there. Okay, so I've secured more coal. 
these catapults are building. I don't know if they're going to freak out this time. Let's make a save. So, let's take that one. Okay, we'll keep alternating saves just to see what happens. That's going to be generals. This watchtower is strengthening up as well. Look at our military strength as we're using up our gold coins to actually train soldiers. Nice to see. Wish there was a way to recover some of these gold coins. Yep, another general. Good. More power, more strength. See, the, the problem isn't necessarily producing the power and strength. There's a general in this barracks, which I don't think we need. Yeah, that's a whole general back. Nice. Okay, and a private went into this barracks. Let's see if there's any other resources here. Maybe a squidge of coal? Okay, are they attacking? No. The catapults are going down. If I can just let these two catapults do their work, I'm pretty confident of steamrolling the rest of them. Because see, we're already more powerful. I just need to weaken them a little bit. And then I can charge forward. That's... That's what we can do. If these two catapults can go up, and this watchtower can hold... One more gold coin going into which watchtower? This one? Good. That gets this up to six generals. By the way, I have counted because I've watched this so many times. It takes 15 seconds for a gold coin to upgrade a soldier. The catapults are looking good and red is not freaking out for some reason this time. I don't know why. Yes, I counted the seconds. It's 15 because you have to know how quickly. Okay, that catapult's unoccupied. Oh, it might be 15 seconds in fortresses, but slower in watchtowers? I've not actually counted in a watchtower. There we go. I think that was slightly longer. Okay. The catapults are manned. They now just need stone. Red is not freaking out. Maybe I just have to stare at them. And they don't attack. I just have to glare. Don't. Attack me. And they just don't. That makes as much sense as anything else in this game. Maybe just looking at them prevents them from attacking. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh, where's stone? Stone should be coming. Stone. Where is the stone coming from? There it is. There's some stone. Okay, here's the stone. It only can deliver one at a time. I just wish there was a way to like prioritize a building. And when you do, it instead of requesting one stone, it requests four at once. I wish there was a way to do that. That would be a nice button to have. A watched general never attacks. <laughs> Stare at him. <laughs> it's not gonna attack just just don't just don't oh, nice we're getting coal two soldiers in here are we that i guess it is yeah the board is right there i wonder if yellow is re oh, yellow is regaining some merchandise What's this guy doing? Oh, he's planting trees. Where's... Is that a forest? They built a forester? He's planting trees. That can actually be a very interesting way to screw over an opponent. Right? If this road was not here, you could build a forester and just plant trees and block the way. 
What an interesting tactic. He's just planting trees. I now can no longer build roads here. Look at that. It's actually blocking my way. Okay. Stone is finally reaching here. Look at that. Two stone for the two catapults. This is probably going to kill the yellow building first, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, because this one's empty. There's nothing to shoot. This one should shoot down here. And for some reason, red is just not attacking this time. Just maybe because I built two catapults? I don't know. It doesn't shouldn't that trigger it more. Take the shot. Wait, you're shooting left? I don't understand how you missed, of course. How about you? You'll hit it, right? Get it out of the way. What? What are you? What? I don't... I don't understand how it's calculating distance. This thought this was the closest target. And this thought this was the closest target. game was the size of two or three floppy disks, you believe? So they had to cram all the programming. They might have to have crammed all the programming because they programmed too much, I think. <laughs> Maybe it picks a random target. I don't think it picks a random target, right? Does it? Does it just alternate? Maybe it is the random target. Maybe it's not the closest. But yeah, see, this is in range of that. But this is not in range of this. Unless this just for some inexplicable reason does not have stone. Even though plenty of stone was delivered to here for building. So this cannot shoot this. But this can shoot that. Going north is uphill. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going north is uphill, so it's against gravity, right? So that, that's why you can't shoot upwards. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> why? Okay, more stone is coming. Here, here comes the next two blocks of stone. Here they come, here they come. All right. I just need to make sure that this is working. If this catapult can just shoot this building, I can then look away. I just, I just want to see that happen. This one's probably going to shoot that one again, but then this one surely... I don't know if this is in range of any of those. This is going to shoot left, isn't it? Oh wait, no, this first stone's going here. If this can destroy that before this one has to shoot. Okay, where are you shooting? What? Okay, I forgot about that one. That's on me. <laughs> Alright, where are you shooting? Where are you shooting? Which way? Left, of course. You just insist on shooting yellows first, huh? Okay, at least that's gone now. That's now dead. Great. So the next two shots are definitely gonna shoot that and ignore red entirely. You know, the primary threat, but... Can I push out stone to, close to the closest storehouse? I can try. Um, let me... That. And block that. Just 
stop storing in that harbor building. Uh, this one already does not accept. Okay, this one should also not accept and empty out. And then at least we can get the stone up to this storehouse. But I should also actually empty that out. If I let it accept but then eject... No, no, I should just... And that should push... I'm just gonna leave that there. That should start pushing stone. I can then also go to transport and push stone up to primary goods. Just force stone above all else. Yeah, I see lots of stone moving. This should speed things up. At least get it into that storehouse. Right? Just make sure the stone is actually heading in the right direction. Yeah, leftwards. Okay, good. Okay, I see two stone coming down. Oddly synced, okay. Okay, here comes a bunch of other stone into this storehouse. All right, where are we gonna shoot? Where we're we dropping? Rebuilding, okay. Okay, this one's gonna shoot first. Almost guaranteed here. Yep. And of course, this shoots at a destroyed building. Of course they do. Of course. But look. Stone, already here. <laughs> okay, logistics. We're, do we're doing a thing. We're doing logistics. This guy has planted nice trees along my roads. It's fine. Okay, so now let's see if we can shoot anything. Is this in range of anything down here? What? What? And why did it send two stones to this... What? Why is it sending... Why is it dumping stone into this catapult? I'm so confused. It's got another one. Well, I don't think it's random targeting, right? See, it's consistently picking a target and shooting it. Why did it just dump three stone into this catapult? And that can shoot there. Okay. Well, we've successfully continued to beat the dead horse that is yellow. Why can't the enemy's catapult reach me? I don't know. We've not shot red at all, so maybe we can't reach them. Okay, here. Surely there is no yellow building in range. What are you gonna shoot? shot further targets than red well yeah but red's not shooting us so i don't know <laughs> he must have paused his catapult. gravity benefits me yeah shooting south you know gravity's with us you can't shoot north you can shoot south
Then suddenly three stone ended up in here and we just wreck a building. All right. Now, are we lucky enough to be in range of these towers? Is the left catapult loaded? No, no, no. It shot three shots to the left. Three shots, three kills. Bam, bam, bam. One catapult's on a hill, the other's in a valley. Does that matter in this game? Because this catapult was shooting up this mountain. Right? We destroyed a building up there. So, at a much further distance. Okay, okay, left catapults being loaded. Are you in range of maybe this watchtower? What? What? What is... What? <laughs> it's shooting that? <laughs> how, how are these buildings all in range? This is shooting that. I had a catapult here that was struggling to shoot buildings I like hear, but this can shoot that. Red must be out of stone, but they're not out of stone. They built this with stone. We watched this build with stone. The stone passed the catapult. I don't understand how this is in range. Okay, 31 stone. So what I want to do is now empty out the stone from here. What? No. Empty out the stone from here and push it down to this storehouse. I don't know why there is stone walking up this way. Why is the stone going in a circle? Okay. I want this bottom catapult to get a unit of stone. To see if we can shoot anything else. No, it's gonna go to that catapult which shoots this and that's got three soldiers in there, so... <laughs> see, I don't know why stone is coming down this way then going back up into that storehouse. I'm confused as to the order of things here. Okay, this stone down to this catapult. Do we take a shot? Okay, this catapult got a unit of stone. It's shooting down! It is in range! Bam. Nice, we killed someone. Okay. We're lucky enough to have these catapults be in range. So now I can properly ruin Red's military, and once these catapults have done their jobs... Have a look here. Um, we can actually head straight to the gate. So at this point, we've won. All because Red, for some reason, just didn't attack this time. Yes, all the stones storing in this storehouse. You're still shooting that one? Okay, well, just in case Yellow decides to attack, it'll be good to not have those soldiers there. This... Watchtower actually emptied out a bit. I, I don't know how that happens. Let's build another road here. Is that not on? Okay, hit that. Nice. 
So yeah, the, the catapults definitely pick a target and stick to it until that target is destroyed. So this catapult is just going to keep shooting this one. It's down to two flags. Nice to see. There we go. Once I'm... Oh no, it doesn't stick to a target. So this catapult is now alternating between these two watchtowers. Also note, this catapult can shoot that, but this catapult's not shooting me. Like, how how is red out of stone if they had enough stone to build this guardhouse? Right? It's bizarre. Okay, I think... A lot of stone is being pushed down this way. I think I can stop emptying out stone. We can allow stone to go in there, because for transport reasons, this iron mine is depleted. Eight privates here, okay. Okay. So red's looking worse for wear. I don't know if that hit. Sometimes it's hard to tell if something hits or not. What? We destroyed something there. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, and now this catapult shooting this building? I'm so confused about the range of everything. Yeah, we should save. Okay, that hit. Nice. Okay. Okay, we're almost... Yeah, we just need to get red down to maybe the halfway mark, and then I'll feel comfortable charging forward. That watchtower will go down. Then, this is the most defended guardhouse. So I'm assuming... They don't have more soldiers than the ones on this front line here. These watchtowers are now almost empty. These are all generals, yes. What? We killed something up here? Oh, we finally got that... Guardhouse, okay, push that back, nice. Stop planting trees! Looks very pretty, but they're getting in the way. <laughs> so this storehouse has 36 stone, ready to feed these catapults. Killing that, bam. Killing this. No. Because I, I need that. Maybe I should charge forward. Oh, if this catapult kills that now, do my generals get lost? The game just always does the exact opposite of what I want it to do. <laughs> that could be a nice way to trigger them to attack me. Okay, go back into the watch chat. That's fine, that's fine. Whatever. Dead enemy is dead enemy. Okay. I should say, don't hit the watchtower. Don't! I totally do not want you to hit the watchtower. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. 
No, no, you might hit it. Perfect, it works. <laughs> Let's go take that guardhouse there. We can go take that guardhouse there as well. I want you guys to die. Oh no. We might actually win this one. Please don't win. I want the enemy soldiers to just wipe out everything I've got. Please. Burn this watchtower. Get a bunch of generals back. So I think they generally do not have soldiers to attack. All of these things have. Oh no, that has two flags. That has one flag. Okay. But we should be pretty close to getting through all of this. Uh, that watchtower should be in range. So if I do fewer attackers... No, I need more attackers. Let's send six into this watchtower. Because there's only one defender, but I could do with the garrison there. And let's send scout. Let's send scout. They could technically counterattack, but I think we can hold it. Because most of these buildings can't attack. They have like two soldiers, so one soldier could attack from there. Uh, a soldier came out of here to help defend there. But I think we should be able to win. We sent six generals down this way. Okay, and the gate is right there. So at this point, I don't want to use um, catapults because I actually want to use these buildings. Okay, so garrison up here. That gives us a nice stack of soldiers. Watchtower there, but I'm just going this way. So let's... Hold on, let's see where the scout takes us. So I can take these buildings. Of course, they put a mountain in our way. So I can't actually beeline through here so what I need is to take this I think I have to go down left what is that road network I, I don't know what they built here so see this mountain it actually curves to the right so we actually can't just cross over here to the gate so let's take this And then I guess I have to take this, right? wonder where the HQ is. Oh, there it is. The HQ is right there. 
You took a nap, but if you missed in the last hour? Well, we finally got these two catapults down and it just wiped out. Apparently, it can shoot up that mountain, it can shoot over there, it can shoot all the way down here. <laughs> just killed everything. Amazing. Uh, red is now pretty weakened. Oh, we can't. It's so annoying. So we have to take this. Uh, red is weakened to the point where they do not have enough soldiers to attack. See, there's only like one soldier in there. I'm letting gold coins stream down here because sure, why not? Okay, so we took that and that's that's the path through. And now we actually have to just build things because there's nothing left to conquer. Sure. We gotta take that. Did we lose a guardhouse here? Okay, so we have to flag up here, flag up here, flag up here. And we gotta build a barracks now. <laughs> Let's throw couple scouts around. So we just go through there towards the gate. Build a catapult. Building anything is gonna slow things down at this point. We can shorten the travel time here, I think, by doing that. Soldiers streaming down, looks nice. Got plenty of generals on the back. There's a catapult there, I just have to note. Oh, we actually made it down here. Look at that. So now I should go to transport and prioritize construction materials. Yeah, these catapults have obliterated everything in range, which apparently is like the size of a nuke zone. <laughs> They're not in range of that, but we're like killing something here. So it's like the range is like this with the two catapults. Huge. Okay, builders here, ready to build. Scouts going around. Yeah, it's just down this way. So of course at this point, Oh, so that means over here, this side of the mountain is probably not harvested because they were only here. So there might actually still be resources here. I wonder what they are. I'm not going to check. You know, see, they haven't like harvested around the back of their mountains. So if I look at the amount of gold, red actually still has more gold than we do. But I think they had... They've run out of iron or coal, maybe? So close. Like, red literally can't do anything at this point. Like, it's just, we've won the game. I just saved. Let's go kill red. I should block their mining. <laughs> I don't think they're mining anything. Look at the resources moving around their base. It's just food. Food and water. See, nothing is, is moving.
Yeah, I think the military strength does... I don't know, does military strength count what's inside the HQ? Because my military strength just shot right back up. Still stone moving? Really? I don't see any stone moving, right? I mean, I don't... I don't know, maybe that catapult's in range of that guardhouse? I don't see stone moving, right? I see planks of wood moving. Oh, that they are actually building a barracks or a godhouse, which uses stone. So they do still have stone. Zoom into the piglets. <laughs> there you go. For you. <laughs> Piglet cam. Okay, a barracks is down. Look at that. We well, need like like four or five barracks here. <laughs> it's, see, th this is the part where it's like this is just terrible map design. Because once you're here, you've won the game, right? You you've won. Ah yes. See, I mean, like, they're dead. They, they got nothing else. Let's look at the merchandise graph here. There, they've literally lost almost everything. I think they barely have any other storage yards. With that storehouse, soldiers should make their way back, but eh. At this point, I don't need that many soldiers. Just need to check. I can probably free up some. Like, I don't need both these watchtowers, right? Maybe I do. Yeah, the range of these borders is a bit weird. I don't know how to tell if we have surplus soldiers anywhere. To go fill... I do have a soldier running down here, so okay. I probably don't need this watchtower. Alright, let's go! Barracks. Alright, they wouldn't- they wouldn't even let us just go straight through this. Right, like, th this whole section is like, why why even bother? Why make us crawl down that way? There's their citizens. <laughs> So this is the range of one barracks. So we do, so if I do from there to there, there to there. So we're gonna need one more here and then one more here. So two more barracks and we should capture the portal. <sighs> Game likes me to struggle. Well, even at this point, this is not even a struggle. It's just, it's a cookie clicker at this point. Yeah, there's three privates in there, so we've got soldiers. Did deplete that coal mine, okay. These two coal mines running, nice.
I just whacked their HQ because I didn't have to, but <laughs> sure. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to cheese by setting up a harbor here. Like, even if you beeline it, it'll be really hard. You can't just come here and set up a harbor, because at the start of the game, you start here. You have to go all the way to here to build your first harbor. And then you have to go all the way down here to build a harbor. And I don't... By that point, I think they're built up, right? Yeah, this... this right At this point, it's a cookie clicker, but you have to click... You only have to click, like, 12 times. But... You just have to click 12 times really slowly. Right? I only need to click, like, what is it? So I need to click barracks, road. So click, click, click road. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight for the flags. So then it'll be 16. So I think I have to click 16 more times. Because it's like barracks. Yeah, 16. If I have to build another barracks. 16. Maybe 24 more times if I have to build another barracks. <laughs> right? I just have to click 24 more times, I think. Maximum. Yeah, I got four privates there, so that'll fill up. Oh, and there's a general there. Okay, yeah, we've, we've got enough soldiers. Like, enemies nullified. Look, red's down to where yellow is. We're now quadruple their military strength. They're not doing anything. Even this guardhouse here, two generals. They're not retaliating. Like, do they even have a military building that has more than one soldier? No. So they straight up cannot attack. Because you can't send your last soldier out. Because you're not allowed to have an empty building. Except I had one earlier. Guardhouse, zero soldiers. Counting the clicks for map movement. No, this this is not necessary. I just have to sit right here with this on. And then it'll be like 24 clicks. But I'm looking around because I'm bored. <laughs> Any big games coming out that I'm looking forward to? Moving forward, now that I've played some Songs of Conquest and I'm liking that. Um, the Wayward Realms. The Modern Day Daggerfall. I want to see what they do. Whether it's good or bad, the Wayward Realms is going to be fascinating. It's going to be so interesting. The first, as far as I know, the first ever grand RPG. The first ever grand RPG. So you know there's strategy games like StarCraft. And then there's grand strategy games like Crusader Kings and Europa Universalis, right? So then there's RPGs and there's never been a grand RPG. So what a grand RPG is, is that imagine like the world map being like Crusader Kings where there's political factions, kings and queens, uh, there's rises and falls of empires, conquering wars, all of that going on. But... You are one person playing an RPG in that world. Right? Sounds insane. So not intergenerational? No. I think you are playing you are playing one person, like one character, but the world is like they're having i think they're having generations and they're at least like conquering each other and stuff like that and the world like land masses are realistically sized like it is in daggerfall so if you don't know daggerfall it is 200,000 square kilometers it is the size of great britain right 
The problem with a realistic world size is that, realistically, most of the world is empty and boring. It's realistic, like there's 15,000 locations in Daggerfall. And like real life, most of them are unimportant. <laughs> right? So, well, that, that's a problem, right? Uh, procedural generation has improved a lot since 1996, though. So the way they generated Daggerfall was they ran a procedural seed and it uh, generated the world and then they looked at it and they were like, yes, we like this. But they didn't manually inspect 15,000 locations, right? Um, wasn't there a game like that where you led your own medieval mercenary company and could involve yourself in struggles between kingdoms or just do your own stuff? Um, Mountain Blade? Is that... Would that count as a grand RPG? I, I think if not, that would be the closest thing. Right? I think that would be the closest thing. But I don't think it identified as a grand RPG. But I've not played Mountain Blade, so I don't know the specifics. Like, I can't go into detail. Um, medieval warfare games. Like, I'm not sure. It's got RPG elements, right? But I, I don't know if it counts as a grand RPG sort of thing. Oh, this barracks moved in. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So then, eight, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven max clicks. I was close. Um, so the the problem with this big realistic world is that it's empty. You can with procedural generation today, like. 1996, they said it was impossible to make Daggerfall, right? The technology wasn't there, but they did it anyway. Uh, but then Bethesda decided to go in a different direction. So the Wayward Realms is actually from the creators of Daggerfall back in the 90s. But we've had a lot of procedural generations since. We have Spore, right? We have No Man's Sky, right? Things have progressed, procedural generation. You've had Minecraft. You know, so now they're coming in with today's technology and decades of procedural generation games. And the way they're trying to control it is that it's set on islands. It's an archipelago. Up, like they say, over a hundred islands. So let's say a hundred and five. <laughs> There's a hundred and five islands, right? All realistically sized. So some would be smaller, some would be larger. And that's still a lot of landmass, but it gives them the ability to control how to um, curate it a little bit more. First of all, every island can be its own individual thing, and checking a hundred things is quite feasible, right? So you can go in and check a hundred things. Also, just in terms of loading and optimization, each island can be loaded separately. Once you leave an island, it can unload that island. When you reach a new island, it loads in a new island, right? So it becomes a um, much more feasible but realistically sized world, right? And checking a hundred islands is much easier than checking 200,000 square kilometers, right? So they can actually go in and make each island interesting and unique, at least in some ways, right? So I'm fascinated to see how the Wayward Realms will pull it off. Because it might literally be the first game in a new genre. Like a genre that has not existed before. Right? It, it's gonna be fascinating. It might be a terrible game. <laughs> But it it is going to do something new. When will I continue the caravan stream? <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a card game in the Wayward Realms. We can do it there. I mean, probably before Way Wayward Realms comes out, we're going to see Avowed as well. That could be interesting. Avowed is supposed to be... Is, is Avowed supposed to be end of this year? Because Starfield got pushed back to next year. Is it about this year? It is, right? If I remember correctly, it's supposed to be end of this year. Unless that's been delayed as well. So, 
Avowed is sort of a modern comp a competition for modern Bethesda games, right? So Morrowind, like after Daggerfall, Bethesda did much more curated experiences. You know, Redguard, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim. It felt more and more focused. So the developers of Daggerfall didn't want to go in that direction. They wanted to go in this procedural, crazy, push the limits of technology, ginormous, realistic worlds direction. And it's interesting to think of what would have been possible, right? If Morrowind, like if the Elder Scrolls III went the procedural Daggerfall route, would it have been, like, would, have, would it have pushed procedural generation in gaming ahead by two decades, essentially? Because we didn't see something like that until Spore, right? Like a decade later. You know, so I mean, as an after Daggerfall. So like, we, we might have missed out on some really cool experiences, but also it could have just been a total flop and, you know, Morrowind's great. We love Morrowind. Um, so... It's just going to be interesting seeing what the Wayward Realms do. But Avowed is competition for modern Bethesda. The Wayward Realms is competition for Bethesda by saying the old school way was better. Let's show what we would have done if you went with our plan. So it's competition for Bethesda in two very different ways. But also... They're going to be releasing around the same era as Starfield, not The Elder Scrolls VI. So, The Elder Scrolls VI is going to be able to look at Avowed and look at the Wayward Realms and be like, okay, we got to trump that. So, whichever game comes up on top, the important thing is the competition is going to make the games all better. And whichever one is the best, it's going to be better for us, the players. Right? So I'm, I'm just very curious about Avowed and the Wayward Realms. Just to see what they do, because it's gonna, like... The making of Elder Scrolls VI, they are gonna look at those games. They have to. It's direct competition. So Elder Scrolls VI will be produced with Avowed and Wayward Realms in mind. Will they copy things? Will they purposefully do things differently? Is Elder Scrolls 6 going to try the grand RPG thing? Or are they going to be like, no, we want the focus curated thing? Like, will the Elder Scrolls 6 go back a bit to their old school methods? Or triple down on the handcraftedness? That's assuming Bethesda are in any way competent after Fallout 76. I think they're fine. I mean, we can see how Bethesda is going with Starfield, right? Firstly, they've been acquired by Microsoft. So that means they've got Microsoft money now, right? Microsoft is, right now, it's not a perpetual statement, but right now, from the past couple years to now, Microsoft has been doing some very good things in gaming, right? Personally, I think Age of Empires 4 could have done, been done in a better direction, but yeah, whatever. Um, Microsoft in general has been pretty good. And Microsoft owns Bethesda and Microsoft owns Obsidian. So Starfield and Avowed coming out are going to be Microsoft products. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine. And then I think we need one more. So seeing Avowed and Starfield come out under Microsoft, it'll be interesting to see how Starfield shows up, considering it's the first Bethesda game under Microsoft. And it's the first proper RPG since Fallout 4, right? I say proper RPG. First non-MMO thing. Like first single player RPG experience since Fallout 4. And it's a new IP as well. 
And they say the creation engine has had the biggest jump since Morrow into Oblivion. So we don't even have to like worry about the Elder Scrolls 6 right now because Starfield will come out first. If Starfield is good, then we can see, okay, maybe they're going back in the right direction. If Starfield is bad, then okay, we can see what exactly is going wrong. If Elder Scrolls 6 fails, well, we've got Avowed and the Wayward Realms on the way. So, and Avowed is set in um, the Pillars of Eternity universe. And the Pillars of Eternity universe is very interesting. Like, I played through Pillars of Eternity 1 in my own time, and I really like the setting. I like the, the Souls thing going on. You know, very interesting. So, Avowed could be good. Wayward Realms could be good. We're not stuck to just one company anymore. Oh, we've run out of piglets. Has everything just ground to a halt? I hear them building something, but... Oh no, they're chopping a tree. Nothing's moving. There's, there's nowhere for anything to go. Oh well. No more piglets. It's all just butchered up now. <laughs> you wanna see the piglets? There they are. That's the piglets right there. Like Fallout 4, that's exactly what it'll be. Such a huge map to do a thousand radiant quests. Ah, radiant. So I, I'm I'm curious. It's like just very interesting seeing how it's all gonna play out. You know? Starfield, Avowed, The Wayward Realms, Elder Scrolls 6. I think that's gonna be a very interesting progression. Coal mine's done. Are oh, those two coal mines still running? So I think I mined out pretty much all the gold I had, and we now match red on gold. Have I beaten them into submission? Yeah, but the problem is the gate is over here, and the enemy did not build here. Right, so I now have to build these barracks all the way down here, but all my resources are up here. Like, I could, like, try build a storehouse to try and force the resources down, but then at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just shifting the resources down. It's kind of weird. Gold coins have been coming through, that's why we've been getting more powerful. All of these soldiers are becoming generals. Good to see. Just sending a scout out to see. Yeah, I think I have to build one more right there. This is this is why I say the map design is bad in Settlers 2. Right? By the time you get here, you've won, right? Both enemies have to be dead. Like, I had an idea of maybe scooting down the left coast but I don't think that's possible see there's this mountain here there's this mountain here it'll be very hard to scoot down the left coast so the only way to get to the gate is to go right through yellow past their HQ and basically decimate red so by the time you're here you've won there's nothing that can stop you like what am I supposed to do spend my time trying to kill the rest of red or kill the rest of yellow like why like I, I would need so many more soldiers just to fill the buildings, right? So once you're here, you've won, right? But then it's just empty land where you have to build four barracks to get to the gate. Like, they should have just put the gate here. Because once you get here, you've won. So might as well put the gate where the victory condition is. Like, the only reason why it's here 
is because they wanted a ship to sail by and so you can see it and be like, ah, there it is. So they should have just cut this island, like this whole corner of this island should just be cut, right? Just cut this corner of the island off, put the gate here, and then this, have the ship sail through here. Right? Have the ship sail here, see the gate right there. And then, like, e easy fix. Put the observer cam on the fox. There we go. Fox. Fox cam. <laughs> no ducks on this map, I think. I didn't see any ducks in, in my lake. Here comes a soldier. Look at him go. He's got a... He's got to fill that barracks. There he is. He's right there. Oh, here's the first soldier. Okay, this this one. Speed things up a little bit. There he is. He's got to fill this barracks. And then we've got to build one more and then we'll win. One more and then we'll win. <laughs> almost. Almost. This is... It's not even a grind, right? When I was here, I was like, we need to click 24 more times and we'll win. Turns out it was 27 more times. 9, 18, 27. Yeah, 20, it was, instead of 24, it was 27 more times. So from here, we just need to click 27 times and we win. That's it. Could actually save some clicks. You don't need these flags. The resources come here so slowly. But, you know, just to put the flags down as well. 27 times. That's all you gotta do. And then, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. And now, literally, I have actually won. I do not need to click anything else. I have won. Let's see how long it takes for us to win. <laughs> like, I've, I've literally won the game. I've won. It's victory. There's a, a rule in game design that the end should come quickly. Whether you have won or whether you have lost, once you realize that you have won or lost, the victory or end screen should just be there. Right? It's like, oh, I've won. I realized I won when I was here. And it's taking like half an hour, 40 minutes to do this. But right now, I've literally won. Like, I, I literally don't even have to click anything else. And it's gonna take like 5 10 minutes, maybe? Once you realize you've won or lost, you still have 100 plus more turns to click through in Civ. Yeah, I mean, there's that. But at least with Civ, it's not a campaign mission where you have to beat it to, to get to the other side, right? Right? You, you can just quit. A multiplayer game. Unless you're doing no quitters, then don't quit. But if it's like a single player game and you're like, Oh, I've lost. I'll just quit. Start a new game. In Settlers, so you can press F12 to jump a minute in the game. Wow. But I feel like things like that are like... Crutches for game design problems. <laughs> just Alt F4 saves a lot of time. Should probably save the game. Mentioning saves here. Yeah, save right there. Not playing Settlers 2 is the best time saver. <laughs> like just waiting for resources to come. There's the planks of wood coming down to build the barracks. No stone required.
it's eerie looking at the enemies and they're like almost nothing is moving are they gaining any merchandise red has actually stagnated even on merchandise yellow is slowly storing up more merchandise They just have this pile of flour right there. Have I played Silent Storm? No, I have not. Oh, look, yellow. Oh, no, they're not building anything. They're, they don't have the resources. Are we just leaving a trail of Roman islands with no resources behind? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. In, in the story, can you go back through the portal because it's kind of weird you go through the portal and then you start with the headquarters on the new island what is the actual story like is there supposedly a portal to go back like is there a portal inside the headquarters which leads back to the previous island like are we still connected to the last island or is it just completely abandoned Law-wise, you are leaving the buildings behind because you're trying to get home. So everyone is coming with. Replay all the maps to catch up on the story. There's barely any story in this game, okay? There's like sometimes you meet Eric the Viking and he tells you a lie. <laughs> oh, you captured a prisoner and they lie to you. Eric the Viking is the true snake, yeah. Hey, we're building the barracks. So it's been five minutes since we had our last click. Five minutes. Just about now. Five minutes. It doesn't need stone because uh, it's a barracks. It's not a guardhouse. The directions don't just don't match our directions. Yeah, they they have their maps are like south is north, that kind of thing. <laughs> Almost done building. Hey, it's done. Now we gotta see soldiers come from somewhere. There. This this is the victory guy right there. This is the victory lap. Look at you. There we go. This is the victory. This guy is victory. We'll leave the fox up there, though. There he is. This is probably most useful. Okay. I estimate eight minutes since we had our last click that that will win because right now we're approaching seven minutes so i think one more minute so from the last click it takes eight minutes to win like the, the last click you have to do to win the game it takes eight minutes then to win <laughs> red catapult suddenly shoots breaks the road ah <laughs> <laughs> if suddenly this catapult launches <laughs> and somehow destroys a building. So yeah, it's been seven minutes. So I think, yeah, eight minutes. Need a general to occupy. No, I do not care anymore at this point.
This map was so frustrating. The previous map, the snake map, was actually fun. That map was good. No weird, dumb, narrow passages, no... No super frustrating things. A little bit of deception, but still okay. I think that might have been the only good map. We have found the gateway and occupied it. When will we reach our destination? You have completed this mission. The next chapter awaits you. Enter gate. You have successfully completed chapter 8. <sighs> so many hours. Half of it frustrating because of the map design. The other half frustrating because the game just doesn't work as it's supposed to. It just doesn't. I don't, I don't know. Like the fortress was just suddenly max eight soldiers. The, the watchtower suddenly max five soldiers. Like, it just kept happening. Right? Enemies capturing our buildings because our soldiers dis decided to walk home for no reason. Like, instead of staying and garrisoning their building, they step out, fight someone, then go to... <laughs> they just go home. <laughs> uh, anyway. We actually... Beat. Mission 8 of the Settlers 2. The next mission will be the penultimate mission and then the final. There's two more missions to finish this playthrough. We'll get there eventually. Someday. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining. If you are watching on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. There's seven earlier Settlers missions, if you want to watch those. Some of them shorter than others. <laughs> the last one was actually pretty good. I liked the last one. Uh, that's going to be all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.